What's going on, everybody? We are live from another brew day. How are you? Let the people come on. I am probably rolling solo again today. Andy may stop by. I don't know. He's got a lot going on. He's traveling for work. And I said, I got to brew. So when I'm brewing, I'm going to go live with you guys. I think it's fun. So hopefully you all can hear me. Uh, if not, let me know. What's going on? I see who's in so far. I know Dangerous Curves was in earlier. Hopefully you're still here. How are you? D90, thanks again for getting in early. And also Griffin, if you're still here, great. And then Stoneyard Vineyards, what's going on? You're starting your raspberry brew right now. That's awesome. You know, you should go live as well. Don't come off our chat, but think about doing a live brew day one time. Um, it's fun. You know, you get to show people kind of how you do your thing and um, you get to interact pretty easily. There's down time in the brew process. I haven't really even gotten started. So you're really going to see everything today. Last time I came on, we were in the mash. I haven't even done my grains yet. So I haven't even mashed, um, I'm sorry, um, milled my grains yet. I haven't even treated my water, haven't even heated up anything. So early morning. Um, hope everyone is doing well. Let's see here. Anybody else in the chat? Let's see. I don't know. Not many people on right now. We'll let people get in, and uh, I'm going to hopefully, hopefully, that's a good question, get some people on here. Again, I apologize for being a little bit late, but uh, we'll make do. Maybe Andy will come over later. Maybe I can guilt him into coming over. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let's see. All right, so it looks like we're live, I guess. All right, so what we're brewing today, we are brewing a beer for a uh, meetup March 2nd. A um, bunch of people are getting together, YouTube creators in Baltimore. I think it's spearheaded by Michael Fire Jr., so to speak, but there is a lot of people, and hopefully they may come on today, that are going to be at that meetup um, where we get to sort of network with other creators. It's really awesome. So me and Andy thought, let's brew a beer and maybe take some to sample uh, with all those creators so they can you know, get some of our product. So that's what we're doing today. We're brewing a hazy IPA with all Amarillo hops. Spice of the life with Linz. How are you? Thank you so much for joining us. Appreciate you coming in on your Saturday morning. Michigan Foodie Girl. Hey, another new new uh, channel that we have hooked up with. Good morning. Thanks so much for coming. We're going to brew beer today. So you're going to see a little bit how beer is made. It's not that difficult. There's four ingredients, water being the main one. There's uh, malted barley or, or wheat, and then hops and yeast. That's it. That's it. That's it. Haven't seen you guys for a while now. Yeah, well, we haven't done live stream in a while, and we're, we're finally getting back into it. So um, Andy may come over. Oh, my beautiful wife brought me my coffee. Thank you, Tina. Hi, Ben. Got to have some coffee at 9 o'clock in the morning, right? Jeff, how are you? Idiot of the day. Thanks for coming on, buddy. I appreciate you stopping by. I know you had some family in town. Um, how are you? Hopefully it's not too cold up there in Canada. I appreciate you coming on. It's great to see you. I know I, I watch you almost every day on your live stream. Jeff, the idiot of the day, has a great live stream every day. Check him out. Again, everybody in here, please uh, check each other's channels out. We support you as well. Um, they're all great creators, so make sure you check everybody out. If you like them, support them. It's great. Hey, Griffin, how are you? Thanks for coming on earlier. I appreciate you coming on. Um, I haven't even started brewing yet. <laughs> so this might be longer than you think. Um, it usually can be done in four hours. I don't know if I'll go live all four hours, but normally when I come on live, like I was saying earlier, I'm in the masher, like halfway through the process. I haven't even started yet. So you're gonna see everything right now. Um, from zero to homestead, good morning. Again, I found a bunch of really great um, outdoors type channel, homestead, um, channels out there that are really interesting and, and, and from zero to homestead it's one of them so again check him out moses jh hello how are you friend thanks for coming in on your saturday morning to be with us we're brewing beer i'm drinking coffee right now though got to get some coffee in me first like i was saying earlier we have not started brewing yet so i guess i can take you through the whole process maryland outdoors hey man are you going to hellas tonight hopefully you still are because Mike will be there and make sure you ask for him. If anybody hasn't seen our 
Cellar Series, which is our collaboration with our local restaurant here in Maryland called Hellas, um, that has great craft beers. Um, we go in there once a month and sample cellar beers most of the time, or, or beers that they have on tap that are also paired with food. It's really a great, great series. Hopefully you've got a chance to see that. Mike at Hellas does an amazing job with his craft beer inventory and then pairing it with food that he has at his restaurant and puts them on the menu. So we get the opportunity to come in and actually sample those beers and food paired together. And hopefully you guys can see it and, uh, and, and maybe get some ideas of making something or at least get some enjoyment out of seeing it. And if you're in this area, stop by because he would love to see it. Mike, what's going on, Mike? Thanks so much, man. Appreciate you coming on. Uh, Mike was one of the guys who gave us a super chat last time. That was the first time we've ever had him. Um, all super chats go right back. We still haven't gotten that money. It's still in AdSense. We don't have enough money for it. But um, all that money will eventually go back to the channel. So, again, Mike, thanks for the super chat last time. We really appreciate that. My man, Rob93, what's going on? Thanks for saying, yeah, share this out. Give me a likes, thumbs up. I think we had like almost 80 last time. I would love to get to 100 likes this time. We've never gotten to 100 likes on a live stream. We would love to get there today if possible. So Pine City Apiary, the channel I hooked up with last night. Awesome, awesome channel. If you want to learn about how honey's made, check out Pine City Apiary. We actually have another really good friend called Jada Divas Beer Reviews. He also has his own apiary. He sent us some um, honey that we're going to brew a beer with in the next couple of months. So check out Pine City Apiary and Jada Diva if you want to see some cool things about how, how uh, honey's made. Uh, awesome. Maryland Outdoors, I'm so glad you're going to Mike uh, Hellas. Please ask for Mike when you get there and tell him you're coming from 21090. Terry's Quick Beer Reviews, how are you? Man, the chat's going too quick for me now. Got to get back on that. Um, thanks so much for coming in. I appreciate it. Moses, the boss. Hello. Welcome. Thanks so much. God, all these new creators. I love seeing people who've just sort of hooked up with come into our live stream. It really, really makes me feel good because, you know, it's good to see support back and uh, we certainly will support back with you. And uh, of course, Rob93, the legend. He's got some amazing aquatics. Please check him out. Does great live streams as well. Let's see. Brandon Mahario. How are you, Brandon? Thanks for coming on. I haven't started brewing yet. I will in a, in a second. I just wanted to say hi to everybody before I started doing some stuff. Usually I'm already in halfway through the process. I haven't even started yet, so I will get to it in a second. No problem, Pine City. Of course, and, and Rob93, Diva is amazing. If you don't know who Jade Diva is, he does beer reviews. He does, like, travel. He also has his own uh, apiary channel. Wow, Mike. <laughs> oh, man, you are you're something else. Mike, thank you so much for that that super chat that really means a lot to me and andy um again once we get that money it will go all back into this channel to hopefully do really cool things that really helps thank you so much mike please check out mike he's a great support he supports so many in this community please support him check him out um he, he really does great things and i appreciate the super chat thanks so much it, it really helps us it really does Kaboom. Yeah, kaboom is right. Five bucks. That's awesome. Thank you so much, man. That, that's that's amazing. That really is amazing. Drummer. The drummer was on. Were you on Craft Beer Pours live stream last night when Drunken One fell asleep or passed out? That was quite funny, I thought. Anybody who doesn't know Craft Beer Pours, they have epic live streams. You should check them out. Steven Dennis, here for the first time watching the stream. Well, welcome. Thanks so much. It's nothing's happening right yet. I am going to start brewing beer, but I just wanted to get the, the, the stream going, say hello to everybody. Um, please give me a thumbs up. On, you know, I love to get 100 likes today in this in this stream, if possible. That's my goal, 100 likes. Uh, Mike Albrecht, uh, what the fuck? Oh, WTF, I'm sorry. Uh, already gave us a $5 super chat, trying to get us up to 100 likes. Please give us that like if you can. He was uh, doing the nodding. The, you saw that, too. It's the drunken one who was a great, great friend of ours. I think I had a little bit too much to drink yesterday, and he lived up to his name. And during a live stream, he was on the panel. It was like this. I don't know if he ever woke up, had to go to bed. But... <laughs> He was out. It was, it was, it was quite funny. If, if you could see that, it was, it was amazing. He had just fallen asleep or passed out in his chair on the on the panel. Uh, Mike, no, but thank you. You're a great supporter in the community. You help so many different channels. I appreciate that super chat so much. Thank you so much. So now that we're in ten minutes into the stream, I'm just gonna. I have to start brewing. Um, if Andy comes over, he'll be able to man the chat a little bit too. Um, I'm hoping he does. He's got a lot going on. So, um, Pine City Apiary, yeah, definitely check out Mike uh, Albrecht. He is a great creator. 
and he's a great supporter. So please hook up with him. Same with Rob. Knight. Oh, everybody in here are really, really good creators. So please check him out. Hit that like button. First thing I got to do, I got to treat my water and get it on, start heating up. Then I'm going to mill the grains, which is going to get a little loud. But let's start that process. So when you make beer, water is the most important thing. I've got to heat it up so when I crush those grains, I pour water over it, it extracts all that sugar, blah, blah, blah. It makes alcohol, basically. So talk amongst yourselves while I get this started, and I'm going to start getting my salts and everything ready. This is a hazy IPA, so um, it's going to be real juicy and uh, hopefully easy to drink. It's going to be about 7% alcohol and uh, using all Amarillo hops, so you get grapefruit, uh, orange, citrusy flavors, really a juicy flavor. Um, and we're just isolating that hop, so hopefully we can understand a little better how that tastes in this type of beer. All right, talk amongst yourselves, guys. Please keep chatting. Thumbs up. I'm gonna actually start start the uh, propane up. the most important thing of a beer. Brandon Morell, how are you doing? Oh, okay. Everybody's talking. Anybody new that came in I missed? I don't think so. If you can, if you have Twitter, please tweet this out. Let more people come in. Um, it'd be great if we could build that. I think we have like 12 people watching now. I'd love to get that up. I know it's early. Um, get your coffee. Sit back. How much water are you pulling? So I'm not pooling water, drummer. I'm just heating it up. Uh, that's 5.68 gallons of water. And I've got to actually look at my recipe and figure out how much I need to treat it with. So water profile is really important with beer, and especially with this style, I want it nice and soft. Um, I want a better chloride to sulfate ratio. Again, if you don't know about brewing, don't worry about it. But I'm going to add stuff to it to make it nice and, um, I don't know, soft. Let the hops, um, I don't want it real bitter. This is an IPA, but it's a hazy IP, so you don't want it bitter. So I'm going to treat it with a little lactic acid. I know it brings down the pH. I want my pH of my final product to be around 5.2. So I'm putting in five milliliters of lactic acid. You would think, what? That's common, very common. But I want that to be around 5.253, my pH for this beer. You're changing the pH. Yeah, I'm changing the pH. Yep, bring it down. There's the, there's the lactic acid. Um, I'm going much more of a chloride than I am of a sulfate. So normally with hops, you would use gypsum. I've got some here. I am going to put a little bit on, but I'm using more chloride. I want the ratio to be almost two to one chloride to, to sulfate ratio. And you do that by adding more calcium chloride to both the mash and the sparge. Again, that's kind of nerdy stuff. It's going to bore you. I don't want to talk about that too much, but I do have to measure that out. So that's all the lactic acid that's done. It's the boring part. Hold on, let me get done this and we'll get back to the fun part. Uh, zero that cup out. Let's put a little bit of, of calcium chloride in here. Five grams. I need a different unit. Oh, shoot. Let me try that again. Eight grams. There we go. There we go. Five grams in. And then I'm using uh, two grams of gypsum. It's not much. Tucker Family Vol. Hey, vlogs. Another awesome, awesome channel. I love brew days. My brother-in-law has a brewery in Washington, and he's always sending his videos and pics of the process. Now, that's really cool. So if um, Tucker Family Vlogs, do you mind saying what brewery it is in Washington? We actually will be um, releasing our second episode of our state series from the city, the state of Washington. It's next. It'll be probably in about a week and a half to two weeks. It'll be up. We had some really great beers from the Pacific Northwest. Just wondering what your brother's uh, brewery is. Flacco, my man. What is, everybody check out Flacco's beer reviews. He not only reviews beers, but he is a home brewer now. 
So I'm really excited about that. In fact, I'm just treating my uh, water right now. I'm actually just starting. I have not even gotten into the mash. So normally I'm at that point, two uh, grams of uh, gypsum. Again, uh, I'm treating the water to get uh, the pH to the right level I want, and then also to uh, give me the mouthfeel I want. There you go. I love seeing people connect with other people. So Pine City Eight Beer connecting with Tucker Family Vlogs. It's a great channel. Really great channel. I actually have a um, family channel that I don't promote. Um, I love doing that. I love getting videos of my family when we go on vacations and everything like that. And it's just a fun way to sort of catalog as your kids grow all their experiences. So what's going on? Brandon Morell, how are you doing today, Tucker Family Vlogs? Flacco, awesome. I made it just in time. Yeah, just on time, man. I know. Are you going to work? No, you don't work today, do you? I know some people said they had to go to work and stuff like that. So I think Thrash Metal has to work till noon. I'll probably still be on at noon because I'm getting a late start. All right, we got, I think, 20 people on. I don't know how many likes we have, but please hit that thumbs up. Uh, Mike Albrecht, if you're still on, he gave us that awesome super chat early on saying, let's get the 100 likes today. That'd be great. Any super chats you give to us, guys, is very much appreciated. We're trying to grow this. We All that money, we haven't even gotten yet because we have to meet a certain threshold. We'll go back into the channel to buy things to go places. JNC No Limit TV, another awesome creator that I found from the outdoors world. They are awesome fishermen. They do great live streams. 26 likes. All right, we're getting there. A quarter of the way there. Let's get to 100. That'd be awesome. Uh, just brewing beer. So the next thing I need to do is mill my grains. It's going to get a little loud. So I'll show you that in a second. Let me get everything, all right? Uh, again, talk some about yourselves. Awesome. 26 likes. Love it. Keep getting those thumbs up. All right, so this is my, my mill, all right? So I'm going to put grains on top of here that are not crushed. They're just... It's going to be ma mainly all um, malted barley. I don't use I use flaked wheat, but I'm not going to mill that. Here's a uh, mill I use. I'm going to hook it up to a actually to a um, power drill and spin it, and crush all the grains so that it opens it up. And, it, and when I put the water on it, it extracts all the sugar. But you're going to see that in a sec. You just get a bucket. You got to get out of there, man. All right, here we go. Nice and clean. All right, so. This is the fun part. Hold on, I gotta get the drill. I don't use power drills that often. My wife probably wouldn't want me to do that because I'm not very handy, but this thing is a lifesaver. Instead of doing it by hand, it does it in like 30 seconds. I gotta plug that in. Uh, gotta get the grains, so let me get the grains. So I buy all my grains in bulk. This is 10 pounds of uh, two-row. Um, I really like Great Western's two-row. It's what I use exclusively for my base malt. I get it from morebeer.com. Great prices there, and I buy it in bulk. So I've got a bunch of different grains by bulk, but today is an easy grain bill. It's mainly all two-row, little honey malt, little care pills, and a lot of flaked wheat and flaked oats. That's it. Very easy. Anyway, what I miss? It is Todd. We have. Thanks so much, Jeff. I really appreciate you stopping. I know you were busy with family in today. Enjoy medieval times. Come back and we're still on. Come on and say hi. But I uh, appreciate you stopping in. Really do hit that like, thumbs up. Michigan Foodie Girl, hope everyone's having an awesome morning. Yeah, I agree. I am. I'm brewing, so I'm having a great morning. Get your coffee, a little Irish whiskey, you know, whatever, and uh, let's go. Let's have a good day. Some a beautiful day to brew in Maryland. You know what? It is. It actually is. It's probably 45 degrees, sunny. We've had terrible weather in Maryland. Are you from Maryland? If so, cheers. Make sure you go to Hellas in Millersville and check out their food and beer. We have that good uh, collaboration with them. All right, so I'm going to just get this all ready. There. All right, sorry for my 
to the back end. I mean, that was not a good sight. <laughs> All right. All right. Here's the key thing. Don't drop any of this. This is important right here. Usually I've got this done. So you can see all of this. Dump this 10 pounds or as much as I can into it. I'll get back to the chat in a second. This is where I could use Andy. He's not on. Everybody who misses Andy, you know, give me a thumbs up. Uh -oh, maybe I won't give any thumbs up. All right, so it's going to take about half. Now what this is going to do is grind it. Hey, Pan Hey, good morning. Thanks. Uh, new channel. Appreciate you coming on, Pan Han. Appreciate that. Anybody else I missed that's new? How are you doing? Okay, good. Keep chatting. Uh, James O'Brien. Hey, how are you? Awesome. I'm crushing grain, so just give me one second. I'm sorry it's probably loud, but we're making video here. I promise. Here's the next half of that this grain. Okay, next half. And then I have a couple specialty grains I'm going to put in right now. So I didn't have one hand. I didn't have, this is uh, honey malt. It's kind of sweet, real good tasting. About half a pound of that. And a pound of carapils. All this is doing is for mouthfeel. Get a nice creamy mouthfeel. Head retention on the beer as well. So that's all the grains that I'm mashing. 10 pounds of two row, one pound of carapils, half a pound of honey malt. And then I got two pounds of flaked oats and two pounds of flaked meat. That's it. Gonna check on something real quick. Temperature. Turns down. Okay, let's finish doing these grains. One pound of carrot pills. And then a half pound of honey malt. The flacco. You, you know what I'm doing right here. Do you have a, a, a mill like this? If you do, make sure you get a nice drill that'll grind it for you. Helps out tremendously.
That's it. We're all done. See that? Now, if I was to do that by hand, it would take me probably about 20 minutes. It took me about four or five. All right. What did I miss here? Uh, doing great. Thanks for asking. Any videos tonight? Michigan Foodie Girl. Oh, cool. Hopefully, some new videos from Michigan Foodie Girl coming out. The Bearded Beer Man. Chris, what's going on? Drill is such a lifesaver. I used to do this by hand. One, I would get tired because I'm out of shape. Two, it takes like 20 minutes to do like 13 pounds of grain. You know how that is. That just took me literally three, four minutes, if that. Um, it can only hold so much. So it is a lifesaver. Hey, there you go, Mike. I'm at 31 likes. I want to get up to 100 today in this live stream. Mike, who gave me a super chat earlier, I appreciate it so much. Thank you so much for the super chat. We're trying to get to 100 likes today. We really appreciate it. Tucker, if you ever go to Texas, Acres Brewing is amazing. Also, in Granbury, there's a revolver brewery that makes a blood honey and honey that will knock your socks off. Nice. Did you, Tucker, I'm going to miss it. What is your brother's uh, brewery in Washington? I think I missed it. Yeah, you need that. This is great. One, it allows you to store your grains and bind them bulk to Flacco, all right? And I just think you control the crush a lot better than you can do it at your own store or wherever you buy your grains from. I can really uh, get my grain crushed where I want it so I get the most efficiency. And Matthews, what's going on? Awesome. Thanks for coming on. Great channel. Appreciate the support. My homebrew store helps buy. Yeah, so does mine. But again, if you have your own crusher, one, you can buy bulk, you can store grains and then buy it in bulk, which is cheaper. And then two, you can really get that grain crush to where you want it. And I think that's, that's key. You can't change what the store uh, has. So I'm going to put this away. Look at me. I'm all drunk. Oh, all dusty. Hey, Ben. What's that, bud? Okay. All right, so you want to see what it looks like. Here it is. There's, there's the grains. It's all crushed up now. It's uh, about 11 pounds of grains, 11 and a half. So we're going to check our tip on this. I'm probably way over now. Talking. And we're going to mash in a second. That's the first step in the whole process. So give me one second. What's up, buddy? Hi, buddy. Hi. Hi, buddy. Okay, is my kids Ben and Nicholas, future home growers. You might see them later. Still in their pajamas. All right, so I'm running around 168. I'm high. But that's okay. It's a little cold. Let that sit for a second. Uh, one second, everybody. Let me go get the mash done. All right, sorry about that. I'm back. Here's the mash tun. Here we go. All right, I got a little bit of water and keep it up inside because it was outside cold. So I'm trying to heat it up. I'm sure you guys can hear me. All right, I apologize. Dump this out. Yeah, I think it was too much on my heat on there. This way. <sighs> All, right. All this bucket is is star sand. Yeah, kind of just use it. I don't really need it now. I use it after you kind of boil. So I just use it to put stuff in. Hey, Daddy, hi. Hey, Nicholas. Hi, buddy. All right, we're a little high. 175. That's too high. I gotta let that sit for a second. Take it off there. Let that cool off. Um, so temperatures are a big thing when you're brewing. You want to, I want to be at mash temperature around 154, 155 for this beer. So we'll see. Um, Night Strix, what's going on? How are you? Thanks for coming. If I missed anybody, I apologize. Please comment. I'm trying to get to 100 likes. Uh, any super chats you guys give, we have that now. It goes right back to the, the channel. We really appreciate it. We're trying to, to grow this. We'll hopefully have some stuff like T-shirts soon because it's a lot of equipment we're trying to buy to, to grow the channel. and collaborate with a bunch of people. So like we're brewing this beer for a collaboration March 2nd in Baltimore with other YouTube creators. So just helps Super Chats, really appreciate it. And I know Mike Albrecht, he already gave us $5 Super Chat and I really appreciate it. Hand Hand, how are you? Halsher Fishing, another great outdoor channel. Love their channel.
please support them, if, or at least check them out. And if you like it, support them. Pine to the Apiary, thanks so much for coming on. Hopefully you enjoyed the process. We'll review this on one of our live streams later. I'll have a beer that I just brewed last live stream, the Coconut Brown Ale, so you can see that turned out fantastic. What beer do you recommend? Really don't like IPAs or really heavy beer. Well, um, if you're going to Hellas tonight, ask Mike. He'll, he'll hook you up with anything. Um, if you don't like a heavy beer, you're probably going to like a lot of Belgian beers, Belgian ales, um, real easy to drink. Um, a pale ale will be fine. It's not real hoppy. Hi, buddy. Oh, be quiet. You're being funny now. Uh, oh, Norse Brewery. Cheers. What's going on? We are brewing up a hazy IPA. I'm getting ready to mash right now. So um, I'm going to go with that. Hi, bud. You'll see my kids in a second. They like being on camera. All right. Yeah, I got um, I got, I got my mash temp too high the other day. Yeah, it dropped weeks. That's what I don't want to do. I'm going to let it just come down. I have no, no rush. Um, it's cold out, so it's going to lose some as it transfers into the mash tun. So I'm okay with that. Let me go get the oats. So again, uh, Flacco, if you're still on, or any brewer, so these are the containers I use for storing my grain, my specialty grains. I have a bigger container for my two-row, my base malt, but for my specialty grains, I use these, and I have one, three, six, I have nine of these. So I have nine different malts at any time I can use to brew beer, and I also buy my um, hops by bulk, by the pound, and split them up and use a um, vacuum sealer and free, put them in the freezer. They last really long times, and you can save a lot of money. But for this, we've got flaked oats and flaked wheat, two pounds each. Hey, buddy. I'm going to keep doing that, huh? So that's going to go on top of the mash. Wow, that's all. Yeah, it saves money, though, too. If you have space for it, Flacco, it's, it's a great way not only to give you flexibility to brew whenever you want. The only thing I don't have a lot of is yeast, so I do have to go out and buy that. I don't propagate my own yeast, so maybe soon I will. Yeah, it's a great way. Um, morebeer.com has great rates, and they're near me, so free shipping, really. Once you get over, like, $59, it's free shipping, and you can do some really, you know, I can buy grains that I can use for six months and not have to go to the homebrew shop except for, for like, something special or my yeast. All right, let me get into mashing. I'm going to check my temp and start mashing. There's my kids. Wonderful. All right, see, it's already come down. It's 169, 170. So, a couple more. It's coming down. It's kind of cold out. It's nice, but it's cold. So, the first thing I do, I'm going to get my gloves. <laughs> and hopefully, I don't spill this. If I do, it'll make good YouTube. We've had times where this has almost happened. Transferring this into my mash tun. Dump it in. Here we go. Five point six eight gallons. All right. So the next thing I need is my mash pad. Be right back. So we already treated our our water. We heated it up. We milled our grains. Got everything ready. We want to check the temperature and what we call mash in. So you're going to add all those grains I just mashed into this uh, mash tun to soak in water. And we are at 168, so let's go. The one thing you don't want to do is get what they call dough balls. So you want to stop like every so often, get your mash paddle, and just make sure you don't have any dough balls. Uh, you want to make sure all those grains get exposed to water and all the sugars get extracted. We want alcohol. <laughs> so let's do this. I love this mash paddle. It's huge. It's probably too big for what I need, but you never have to worry about, look at that thing. It's as big as my face. All right, that's good. Now, I am using a lot of flaked wheat and oats. My big worry is getting it stuck mash, meaning when I try to empty this thing, it gets clogged, because those tend to do that. So, got to be careful. Hopefully that doesn't happen. 
Um, please keep talking. I'm sorry I'm missing the chat. I got to do this real quick. Once I get this in the mesh, I'll be able to talk with you guys for a good hour. Because that's how long this takes. Oh, see, there's some dough balls. You can see it. I got to mix them up. Again, we're just trying to mash these grains. When they say mash, we're just putting them on water. All those grains we just crushed, we're going to put on hot water and let sit for an hour. I do a 60 minute mash. And that just gets all the sugars out of the grains into the water. And then that's what you convert to alcohol. The yeast converts those sugars into alcohol. That's how you make beer. Pretty easy. Pretty easy. Looking good. It smells awesome. If you ever brewed this, this process, oh, it smells so good. It smells so good. I love brewing. It's what our channel was sort of founded on. We do a lot of other things now. But we will never stop brewing. Never. At least I will. We used to do like big brew day videos. Just go live now. It's much easier. Uh, all right, so that's all mashed in. Now we need the flaked oats and flaked wheat to put on top. Wait, I wish I would have got. I'm gonna go get some scissors, guys. Sorry. Here is the flaked oats. Whoa, making some oatmeal. What the oats do, it gives it a nice uh, sort of sweet, um, but it also gives it that haze. The proteins in the flaked oats and wheat, they don't break down like, like other things. I gotta get scissors, be right back. Never mind, I was just, I was locked out. Why are you locking the door, man? All right, I'm back. I'm sorry. What have I missed? I gotta get this done, and then I will, I swear to get back to the chat. I'm so sorry. Like I said, usually I'm not solo doing this alone. Here's some of the flaked meat. Looks very similar to flaked oats. And again, we'll put these in here to really give it that haze, that mouthfeel, add a little bit of sweetness. You know, oatmeal, it's flaked wheat. It's a lot. I got two pounds of it. Um, and then we let this sit for an hour. And that's it. I'm going to mix up just a little bit. Make sure these get exposed to the water. That's a lot of wheat and oats. Holy moly. Let's get that in there. Hold on. I'm making oatmeal, it looks like. Holy moly. This is going to be hazy. All right. That sounds good. Looks good. Looks real good. Let's check our temp. Mm. Tastes good. They haven't come down too much. Yeah, beautiful. 155. Point one. Let's shut it. Put a timer. Now it's done. Ugh. All right. Let me clean up one second. And I'll get back to you guys. Okay, so that's it. Now we're mashing. I have to do an hour clock. So I usually write on this board, but I don't have any. I'm so late today. I'm sorry. It's 10:10, so 11:10. We need to stop that. Um, let's see here. Let's see here. Clock. One hour. But at 10:10, 11:10 is when we need to stop. One hour. All right. There we go. All right. What did I miss? I'm sorry. The chat I've neglected. Anybody new that's come in? 22 people watching, I think. I don't know how many thumbs up. Hopefully, you can tell me how many thumbs up. We're trying to get to 100 thumbs up. Um, love, love that. Hey, one cast, one fish. What's going on? We are brewing. I'm just mashing right now. 
Uh, so I got some time to get back to you guys. How are you, man? Another one cast, one fish. He loves beer. He's been on our live streams before. Great channel. He's an awesome fisherman. Please check him out. Mike Kelly, first time drone flyer. Good morning to 10 crew. Hey, not a lot of great drone channels as well that we've been uh, exposed to. Love watching that. I don't know if we need, I always say, I don't know if we need a drone for this channel, but man, would it be fun to have a drone? Um, so we got, got to get those super chats so we can invest in some stuff like that. 22,000 I'm watching right now. Yeah, I wish 22K. Yep. 22 people. That'll work. Where's the, oh, I'm, I'm free. So old nose brewery, where are you? It's freezing. It's actually quite nice in Maryland today outside of Baltimore. It's probably 45 degrees. Not too bad. 36, seven likes, 22 watching right now. Thank you, Diana S F N G. Appreciate you coming on. First off, let's get those likes up to hundred. Please. If you can give me a thumbs up. Um, we're going to be on for a while. And hopefully you guys are finding other creators that you can network with and, uh, and, and support. It's great. Yorkshire George. Hello. Welcome to the brew day live stream. Zero dislikes. Well, we always get some, I can tell you that that's okay. Um, no big deal. No big deal. All right. So what else is going on today? Um, we have, a bunch of things that we're doing on the channel just to give you a quick rundown we have our state series which is where we're showcasing um beers from all 50 states we're, we're beer trading with someone from all 50 states we did nebraska michigan i'm sorry missing michigan washington will come out next week or the week after and oregon we have illinois already in we have texas from flacco beer reviews we have florida in. so we're looking if you want to beer trade there's some others we've been talking with we will send you not only some of our home brews, but some great beers from our area back to you. We're looking to showcase not really home brews, but beers that we can't get in here in Maryland that you like from your state. So that's the state series. You'll see more of that soon. And they're really, really funny. Wait till you see the opening of the Washington. Um, and then Oregon's funny too. I'll say two things. One, 80s hair metal and two, the truffle shuffle. That's all I'm saying for Oregon. You'll have to watch to find out what that means, but I guarantee you, you'll laugh. Um, it's quite funny. So they'll be coming out. Well, you'll probably put them out once a month, maybe a little bit more. Same with State uh, Seller Series. Those are actual series. We're also going to be launching a how-to series of how to brew. So it's not difficult, but we want to show people the way that we brew and how it's not that difficult. Uh, you got to start somehow. So you can make your own beer. It's so much fun. What other hobby can you drink the fruits of your labor with in two weeks? I mean, it really is. So... Um, 48 today in Arizona. That's what it is here in Maryland. That's not right. Something's wrong with that. Uh, what is one cast? The cops are coming for you. No, no cops. No cops. We're all on the up and up here. Maryland Outdoors. Maryland Outdoors, where did you say you're from? I know, where in Maryland? I know you've told me before, but I forgot. I know you're going to Hellas and Millerville tonight, so you can't be too far from where we are. Yeah, so it's, we will have it out. We just got to get a day to, to do, do a couple of things and, and – actually shoot it there's a bunch of things we want to do first off which is how to brew and get a kit extract that's how you'll start we haven't brewed an extract kit in a long time but we're gonna do it michigan food we have yeah michigan has a ton of craft beers i guess they might have good water water or something but bells is up there there's a ton in kalamazoo a lot of good brewers in michigan definitely so if you want a beer trade email us 21090 brewing at gmail.com you can get on our schedule for our state series. We highlight your channel. We get a little clip from your channel to put in our video. So we promote your channel as well. And we also send beer back to you. It's a win-win. Pine to the APR. I thought you were leaving, but I guess not. It's negative five in here in Minnesota. That can't be good. I saw your video yesterday where you were checking on, I think it was the bees and the sound. It's in the middle of winter. There's snow everywhere. I guess you got to check on the health of the, the colony, I guess. I don't know how they make it through those cold winters, but they do somehow. It's a really cool, interesting channel. Again, Pine City Apiary. If you're, I thought it was fascinating to see how the process of honey making and you know um, beekeeping is. It's a really cool channel. Check them out. Ronnie asks, "What? Who's drinking?" Well, I'm drinking coffee. I will get to a beer in a second. I'll show you our coconut brown ale, which we brewed in our last live stream. Turned out fantastic. Really good beer. Might be one of the best beers we've done. Um, I'll show you that, and you can hear me review it. You made it back. Perfect. I love. Thanks for coming back. I appreciate it. Everybody, check out Pine City Apiary. Our temperature is close to yours, Pines. Okay, so you, uh, Diana, where are you from? Where, where, where are you located, if you don't mind? I'm just curious. 
Yeah, it seems like it's cold everywhere. I mean, I'm, I'm done with winter. We're ready for it to heat up. It's actually nice today, but it's been miserable, miserable here in Maryland. Thank you, Rob. I appreciate that. Yes, please, please share. Get it out. We'd love to bring more people on so you can go back. So I guess, do you know um, Pusa Studios? Um, Diana, maybe that's where I met you from. But we know they're from Montreal. Amazing friends of ours have really helped us grow. I'm sure it helped a lot of you guys out there grow as well. So, uh, oh, on the big screen. I don't know if you want my mug on the big screen. Andy would make a joke about that. Or right now, I guarantee you, if he was here. Um, but I appreciate it. Awesome. Thanks. Thanks, Blacko. I appreciate you doing that. So, sort of a law now. We're mashing our grains. You guys saw me do that. I crushed the grain, treated the water, heated the water, crushed the grains, put them all together, and it sits for an hour. And all that water does is extract all the sugar out of those grains. We'll run it out into our boil kettle, and we'll, uh, we'll sparge. I do batch sparging. I'll show you that next. It's just put more water on the grains. And then we boil it, add our hops, and we're done. It's not difficult. It's not rocket science. Not rocket science. My outboard was frozen solid this morning. Saltwater ice is hard. Oh, man. You didn't take your your um, boat out of the water, boat Norse? Anyway, PSBR Paranormal. How are you guys? Wow. Oh, that's another amazing channel. Thank you so much for coming on. Please check them out. They do great paranormal stuff, great live streams. They're great supporters of this entire community that we're all sort of a part of. If you haven't checked them out, please do. Amazing, amazing people. I always, Holster Fishing, are you up where it's ice fishing? I've been watching a lot of those channels that are ice fishing now. We don't get cold enough here in central Maryland to really ice fish. Um, I'm fascinating with how many people ice fish and how good they're at it. I mean, it's it's amazing what you can do ice fishing and still catch great fish. So I don't know if you ice fish or not. Uh, PSPR, no, no problem at all. You, you deserve every minute of it. Please check them out. Um, yeah, Flacco's down there in Texas. I think when he gets to 50 degrees, he's like, it's cold. Man, it's 45, and I feel like it's warm. No ice over here. Where are you located? Are you south then? I always, I, I would love the ice fish. I think it looks really cool. You sit in a little tent, got a little heater, some something to drink, and just drop it in with a line, and boom, there's fish that come out of the hole. It's, it's amazing. All right, so one thing I'm going to do, I got to get a fill up. The next thing I need to do is... Uh, Get my sparge water. So let me give me one second to see how much I need for that. I need 3.69 gallons. I'm gonna go do that real quick. If you guys don't mind, so I can have that in the kettle and and in my hot liquor liquor tank. If you don't mind, I'm gonna do that. Please talk amongst yourselves. Give me a nice thumbs up um, if you like this. I'm trying to get the 100 likes today. That'll be awesome. Um, we got to like 85 last time, I think. So we were close. If we can get the 100 today. That'd be awesome. So please, if you haven't already, hit that thumbs up. Uh, share it. If you can tweet it out, bring more people in. I'd love to get more people in here to see the process of brewing, but really for everybody to kind of get together and, and collaborate. Oh, John Stevens. How do you source your hops? All right. So I buy in bulk from an online retailer called morebeer.com. I look for sales and I buy them in, instead of ounces, which costs a lot more. I buy them in pounds and I wait for sales and then I break them up. I have a vacuum sealer. I vacuum seal, like take them in one to two ounce increments. Um, and then I um, put them in my freezer, and they last really long. So I have a ton of hops in my freezer. Um, I keep an inventory of and know what I can use. Today I'm using Amarillo because I got a free eight ounces for um, renewing to American Home Brewers Association in a bag. So I'm just using that eight ounces for this plus another ounce later on in the dry hopping. But I have so many Amarillo hops. I'm using all Amarillo hops. That's the reason I that. I put a, a sticker. Yeah, so Rob93 has some good merchandise. Everybody uses that. We don't have merchandise yet. We, we will get merchandise. I'm wearing a nice dogfish head. We live real close to Dogfish Head, which is an amazing brewery. It's grown leaps and bounds over the last 10, 15 years. So we go there a lot. Um, but we got to get some merch. We're looking to get, like, not just shirts, but, like, bottle openers, pint glasses, things that you'd use for brewing. We have a local vendor that Andy's trying to hook us up with. So hopefully we'll have some merch you guys can support our channel with. Right now all we have is Super Chat, so... It is what it is. Everybody's trying to do something, right? Yeah, Canadian Brewing Channel. Yeah, I totally buy my hops by the pound now. There's no reason not to. Um, the only thing you would need to do is get, sorry, we're right near the, 
highway, you'd have to get a vacuum sealer because you want to separate them out, I assume, and keep them. So you put them into, you know, one to two pound bags, seal it, put it in the freezer, you're good to go. Beat my dome by five minutes. See, there you go. Look at that. I don't know. Do you have a electric uh, mill grain like I do? That really saves time. I'd be still mashing in if I didn't have that. I'd probably still be cranking it. It takes forever by hand. I can't believe I used to do that. Can you put the ingredients in the description, please, to make today's brew? I, Diane, I certainly can. I will. When I get done here, I'll load it up. It's a fairly easy brew. The grain bill is very easy. It's 10 pounds of two-row, one pound of carapils, half pound of honey malt, two pounds each of flaked oats and flaked wheats. That's it for the grain bill. The hop schedule is different. I'm using a total of nine pounds of Amarillo hops at various stages, way late. So this is a hazy IPA. You don't want the bitterness. You get bitterness by putting your hops in early in the boil. We're not going to do that. We're putting them in with like five minutes and then in the whirlpool and then twice in the uh, fermentation. But I will put all that up once this is done. Yes, please. I'd love for people to replicate this. It's a really good recipe. Um, it's very similar to Hazes for Horses. If you remember our viewer created beer that was really good, except we're not using the same hops. It's the same sort of grain bill, but not the same hops. So it's still going to be very juicy. Uh, Maryland Outdoors, I, we got to get merch. We're, we're working on it. That'd be awesome. That's a great way to, I guess, put some money and get our get our name out there to people who want to support us instead of just super chats. But we're trying. We're trying to get good videos first. So we have a lot going on. We have families. We have work. So this is sort of like a hobby. Try to make the hobby pay for the hobby, if that makes sense. Uh, we got monetized, so that's good. You don't make any money off of that. Um, so just so everybody's reaching for monetization. You don't make much money from monetization. You make not much at all it's good you can have super chats but we don't we don't get much of that either so whatever stacy here we grow again hey awesome channel i just kind of connected with uh with her channel this past week another great sort of homestead outdoors gardening channel um please check her out she's got a ton of videos um, about sort of growing plants and how they do it during the off season. And I can't wait to see your sort of haul during when it's warm out. So, you know, again, please check out Stacy. Here we grow again. It sounds like Here I Go Again from Whitesnake. We're big 80s fans. So, by the way, we love the name of your channel because it reminds me of Whitesnake. I don't know if that's what you're going for, but that's what I got out of it. <laughs> Local breweries are great farm to consumer products and great support. Of that's great. Yeah. Local breweries are. Um, we have a couple here Burley Oaks, Manor Hill. There's a bunch of farm breweries that use only Maryland grains. There's only certain hops you can get from Maryland. You can only grow in this climate. So, that, but they use all their grains locally sourced. So that's really cool. Yeah, uh, no doubt, Maryland Outdoors, you're a great supporter of us. I appreciate you even going to Hella's today to have dinner, because that shows Mike that you know people are watching and, and want to come. It's nothing fancy at Hella's. It certainly isn't a fancy restaurant, but they have really good beer selection and really good food. So please enjoy your dinner tonight. That snapper that we had and that steak, they'll be on the menu. They were fantastic, so you can't go wrong with that. Um, oh, my cave video, Mountain Man. There you go. Nope. Hey, we love supporting everybody. Check out Mountain Man. Again, another of these outdoor channels, really good. We've kind of been introduced to a lot of them through various outlets. And once you find one, you find a bunch. And we really enjoy them. It's sort of similar. I mean, we're all kind of outdoors creating stuff. I don't know. We all get along. We find that we have a lot of, like, drone we have a lot of outdoors um and a lot of food channels i think they're all sort of intertwined somehow so that's cool and there's a lot of aquatic channels too like rob 93 and of course we have our brewing like flacco's we didn't lose sight of what we are our niche is brewing and beer so we have a lot of those that support us as well thank you so much Stacey. yeah please get that like up if you can please we're trying to get 100 likes today would love to do that um the Mission Foodie, oh, got to run. Hope you can do that. Michigan Foodie Girl, thank you. You've been on for like an hour. Thanks so much for coming on. Um, you will eventually see the fruits of our labor either on our next live stream that's a brew day or maybe do a live stream that we're just drinking beer. But I always like to review this and, and send it out. Uh, not send it out, but show people what it, how it turns out. Sometimes we send our own brews out. If you're in our state series, we will send you some home brews. So if you want to, you're from a state that we haven't done and you want to beer trade with us, we'll send you some of our home brews and also some beers from maryland that we love so email us 21090brewing at gmail.com let's see what else is going on and for beekeepers yes beekeepers i only know you and probably jada diva but 
I was fascinated with Pine City Apiary. That's again the outdoor stuff. There might be a whole community that I haven't got into. Maybe I have to check out some of your supporters because I love the beekeeping sort of process. I think it's amazing. We're going to use some fresh honey from Jada Diva to brew a beer. So we like to collaborate as well. Maybe we can do that with you one time and we'll send you the beer back. Honey is used a lot of times. It makes me, but we, it, in the brewing process, there's a famous beer called Hop Slam that um, uses honey uh, to brew. And it's, you know, one of the most sought after beers. I think it's a little overrated now, but at the time, 10, 15 years ago, when it used honey, it was like groundbreaking. It still uses it. So too early for steak. Oh, yeah, it is too early. Steak and eggs. Got my coffee. I will get the beer. It's 1030, so 1027. So soon I will get to our beer, our local brew. Canadian Brewing Channel. Oh, yeah, we're mashing right now. So we treated the water, heated it up, milled our grains. Now we're mashing. We will be done at like 11.10. So soon I'm going to get my sparge water up the temp. Um, get all that ready. Get my hot liquor tank. Fill it again. <laughs> Ronnie S. is recovering from the CB live stream. Uh, Ronnie, what time did that go off last night? Um, if you did not, if you don't know, see craft beer pours is another beer review channel. Really, really good. Please check them out. They may jump on today. I don't know. Maybe they're still recovering. Um, Brandon and Trish are a married couple. They, they do a great job with their live streams. Brandon does beer reviews, but last night they had a panel on and I don't know if anybody knows the drunken one, but he's a you know beer reviewer, home brewer. He has a good channel, it's a drunken one. <laughs> he had been drinking evidently all day and he's on the panel with like three or four other people. And all of a sudden you see him like this in his chair he's passed out and they, they couldn't wake him up <laughs> it was quite hilarious so um that was and brandon at craft beer ports has really good live stream so um that usually something always happens like that but anyway modern day tech love hey is it dogfish can't go wrong with dogfish thank you we love dogfish we were about an hour and a half from the brewery so we we've been there a lot been there a lot in fact yeah a lot uh, Florida Pirate, how are you, friend? Another great channel, Florida Pirate. Please check him out. I know he has two channels. Please check him out. He does great work, great footage around the Florida area, outdoors. Um, does some some great work, so please check him out. Really appreciate it. How long would you leave your mash in that bucket before you add the next ingredient? So 60 minutes. This stays 60 minutes. These grains will see. Some people do less. Some people do 90. I do 60. So you'll see at 11.10, we'll start mashing out. I'll show you the color. It's going to be very, very light. It's not going to be a dark beer at all. And then we'll put more water on it. So that there's no more ingredients except hops and then yeasts that go into this. That's it. So, Flacco, you were on that panel. Did he ever wake up last night? I had to go to bed, so I didn't see. But when I went to bed around 10.30, he was still out. <laughs> Did he ever wake up is my question. I'm getting some love for the shirt, Dogfish Head. Yeah, we went there. If you can see, we did a brewery tour video of that um, back last March. I got this then. I love the shirt, too. It's a cool green shirt. You're down to one channel. Okay, so you got rid of the other one. All right, well, again, Florida Pirate, please go support him. He does great work down in Florida, outdoors, really great shots, has a nice camera, gets really good footage of the outdoors area where he lives in Florida. You're only modern day tech. You're only 10 minutes from Dog, so you're right near Mil Milton. Wow. Um, we will be hopefully going down to Delaware to do a video for the Crooked Hammock. Um, they are brewing a beer for their Memorial Day celebration. We've talked to them. They're going to let us come in and help brew with them and record a video. We'll probably go live. This will be in April. So we're trying to work out the kinks, but Andy's working on that. I think that's going to happen. Maybe we can meet up at the Crooked Hammock when we do that. That would be awesome. Um, and there's some other breweries down there that we're working with as well to do some videos as well. We've done e Evolution in Salisbury, Maryland. We've done Third Wave in Del Mar, Delaware, and then also Dogfish. We've also done the uh, Oliver Brewing in Baltimore. We've got a bunch more that we're trying to do. We love going to breweries, but it's hard to set that up to get the back the behind the scenes access with breweries. So we're working on that. Again, that's why if we can get super chats or some kind of merchandise out to get some revenue it would help us to, to travel and spend stay overnight we're working on it we're trying it's slow but surely i think he actually fell over at one point get out of here so oh there's brandon all right so brandon we were just talking about you your live stream last night and drunken one 
And Flacco and now Ronnie say he actually fell over. The, the drunken one first, did he ever wake up? I had to go to bed at around 10.30. I was just beat. Um, I knew I had an early morning. Did he ever wake up? He Did he fall over? Hopefully he's okay. I've never seen that before. That was hilarious. Again, I gave you credits. Please check out Craft Beer Pours. He has great beer reviews, but his live streams are epic. I never go on to his live streams. He's got great panels. Some It always makes me laugh. It's interesting. You find, meet new people. Please check him out. Thanks, Panic, uh, Panic D. Appreciate you coming on. Another amazing, amazing, amazing channel. I've talked to him about that before. Please support Panic D. Two great people who are great supporters in this community. Thanks so much for coming on. Yes, he woke up and partied until, get out of here. That went on until 7 a.m. I don't believe that. You're kidding me, right? There's no way he went on until 7 a.m. All right, here we go again. Single hop Amarillo Hazy is beer that you talked about today. Is that right? Yes, it is what I'm making. Single hop, uh, which is Amarillo Hops Hazy IPA. Mike is a huge IPA fan. My dad owned a bar. We will be watching this video over. Sorry I was so late. No worries. we got a long way to go. Um, Stacy. I, lo I love trying to s – I don't know where you're from. If if you're interested in, in our state series, we like to spotlight beers from all 50 states. Maybe we could do a little beer trade. Email us at 21090brewing uh, at gmail.com. Maybe we could do that. Uh, and we could send you some of this beer and also some homebrews if you want to do the beer trade thing. He did. Someone took over after the part. Holy moly. That's <laughs> That's crazy. Seven, eight, his neck must be killed. Did he fall over? He had to fall over. There's no way he stayed sitting in that chair sleeping for 10 hours or nine hours. Legendary Brewery. They located in Yellowbrook in Rosedale, Maryland, where I live. No. So you live in Rosedale. Is Le I thought Legendary was a distributor. Are they a brewery? I thought Legendary was a distributor. Maybe not, though. I have not heard of them. I know where Rosedale is, so I have to look into that. 7 a.m. is for the drunken one. It's early. It is early for the drunken one. Hey, there's Kay from Happy Trails Hiking. There's another one. They've been on our live streams before. We've sort of had a great stream with them. Another outdoors channel. If you don't know Kay and Happy Trails Hiking, please do. Watching on TV. Again, I said, you probably don't want my ugly mug on TV. Good Lord, but thank you. Um, Happy Trails Hiking does great, of course, hiking. Uh, her husband, Matt, is a harm brewer and loves beer, so they also often spotlight craft beer. And they also do wellness. So Kate, every Monday through Friday, goes on at 10 a.m. or oh, 11 a.m., right? Yeah, 11 a.m. And does a 30-day wellness challenge that we're, I'm a part of this year, this month, working out three days a week. Hopefully, you can see some results. We're almost through it. We're like 12 days left. Uh, but check out Happy Trails Hiking. Kay is an amazing, amazing person. Her husband, Matt, is too. They have great, great um, support for the community. So please check them out. Hey, there is Trish from Once a Bit of Time. That's Brandon's better half. Uh, we find out what we're having in a few weeks, Todd. We can plan a brew. Perfect. We're definitely going to do it. When are you due again? Um, I think over the summer or late summer. So we will coordinate with that. Just email us. I'm saying you're having a boy, Trish. My three sons. I have three boys, so I'm saying you have another boy. There's pros and cons of that. I know you're probably hoping for a girl, and we were too, but if you have another boy, you know boys, right? He woke up and was ready. He woke up and ready to go. His neck has to be hurting. There's no way the drunken one's neck does not hurt or back or something. If he doesn't, if it didn't hurt, then he's Superman. I don't know. Matt is here too. Hey, Matt. How are you, buddy? Um, one, when's Matt going to brew again? I want to see him brew, and I need to see some more reviews on Thursday Thursdays from Matt. Maybe I've missed them. I don't know. But um, I know you guys are probably waiting for it to get warmer out so you can get out hiking. That would be good. When's your next big trip, Kay? Are you going on any – I know you guys travel all over. When's your next big trip, and where are you going for your, your channel, the trails, you know, the hiking part of it? Just curious. <laughs> there you go. It does smell good, right? You can smell it all the way up in Rosedale, Maryland Outdoors. Wait till I start boiling. That's when it really starts smelling good here. So, all right, so Trish, once a bit of time, is doing August. We will brew then a beer in July. How's that? And then we will create it with you. We'll bring you on a live stream if you want. We'll create it. And we'll come back and do a live brew day with you on it. Hopefully, if you're okay with that, I don't know. And then after the baby's born, we'll send you some, send you the beer up there, and we'll do a review of it. I think that's a great idea to celebrate the birth of your kid, right? It's the least we can do. I think that's gonna be fun. John Hill, my buddy John, how are you, man? Um, we're doing a great beer trade with John. He lives in Washington. He's sending us some 
amazing beers from Washington. Even though we already did Washington the State for a state series, he's sending us some awesome, awesome beers that we're going to put on our channel. Um, I don't think John puts out a lot of content on his YouTube, but he has Instagram channel. He also does barbecue. I wish I could put John's Instagram on here. Um, uh, maybe if I can, I make you a John. Let me see something. I'm going to try to make you a moderator. All right, John, if you want to post your Instagram, feel free. Because he's hooking us up with a lot of great beers. We're sending him back some cool beers that he wants from the East Coast as well, plus some of our homebrews. Um, Andy's supposed to bring over our regulator and beer gun sometime this weekend. So I'm going to be bottling a bunch of beers to send out to people. Um, so, John, you'll get your package hopefully sometime next week. Syracuse fan 1982. Check out John. He's on Instagram. That's his Instagram channel. Um, it will. He's, he's a great guy. He's hooking us up. Check him out. He's a great Instagram. His whole body probably hurts. It's got to hurt. It's got to hurt. Totally got to hurt. That's Drunken One, by the way. I wish Drunken would come on. He's probably asleep right now, though, I bet. If you start back up at 7 o'clock, Trish or Brandon, how long did that stream go to? Good Lord. Good Lord. Oh, I got you. So you can smell. Yeah, I wish I lived close. We live really close to heavy seas, like literally five minutes from heavy seas. We're on the south side of Baltimore. Uh, Maryland Outdoors is sort of on the northern end. So we live real close to heavy seas. All right, how many we got in here? I'm just curious. 19 watching. How many thumbs up? Do we have many thumbs up we have? I'm trying to get the 100 thumbs up today, guys. If at all possible, please give us a thumbs up. I don't have many thumbs up. I can't figure out how to look at this. Um, John Allen, support you. Awesome. Thank you, Diana. We really appreciate you. Again, John, you might want to check out some other great creators on here and support them. Really good content creators. D90, Happy Trails Hiking. Oh, wait, I missed what Happy Trails just said. Hold on, let me go back up to that. One second. What did she say? Let's see here. Okay, we are traveling in March, hitting some parks in California one week, going to, exciting, going to be exciting. Not sure what our next brew is. Need to be warmer. Yeah, I'm brewing in the cold, but I was just wondering about your trip. So you're going to go out to California. Again, please support Happy Trails Hiking awesome supporters in this community and then they make great content so you won't be you won't be disappointed if you do so please check out k matt at happy trails hiking they are great people and great creators and great supporters of this community all right back to what do we got here left the thumbs up awesome 51 so we're halfway there 49 more thumbs up to get to 100 please please as you come in hit the thumbs up really appreciate it if you want to support us by super chat we would love that as well trying to invest more into this channel we gotta get a bunch of things but we don't have merch yet so super chat really is the only way to support it so if you feel inclined we would love a super chat thank you uh okay no doubt about it it's, i would only say it if it meant it you're one of the few channels out there that are really really impactful and in regards to helping others too so I, I love that i love that about you guys all right i've got to get water in my hot liquor tank Talk amongst yourselves. I'll be back in like literally three or four minutes. All right. Thanks.
All right, sorry guys, I'm back. Okay, what did I miss? Hopefully not everybody left. Oh man, what's going on everybody? So, let's see, Pank D. Yes, please check out Pank D, you won't be disappointed. Awesome content. You got a B-roll, oh the B-roll tonight, okay. So, craft beer pours on it, please support. I should have put it on a craft beer shirt. Dang it, I have a shirt, I gotta put that on. Maybe I'll do that later. Uh, my bed trucker. Awesome. Thanks for coming in. I really, really appreciate that. Um, another great sort of channel we've just um, kind of met. Please, everybody, check each other out and support if you want to. I missed some stuff in the chat. I'm sorry. Kay's here. Crap Beer Forge. I know the chat's working with Kay's here. Do you have any ideas on beer glasses? Do you, I don't know, John. I don't know what I missed. I don't know if you're talking that to me or somebody else. Man Outdoors. Hey, man, you're halfway there. Yeah, 50 thumbs up. Awesome. Can we get to 100 thumbs up? We would love to get to 100 thumbs up. Still got you on, man. Flacco, you the man, buddy. Keep cleaning the house and and uh, keep us on. We appreciate that. Oh, Canadian Brewing and Craft. Oh, you won't be good. Guys, hook up. That's a great, great uh, connection there. Craft Beer Pours and Canadian Brewing Channel. Please do. Awesome. We found out that one of our daughters was married to German. Enter, man. What? One of our daughters was married to German guy that built Flannerman's Mill. Not sure what that means, Panic D, but okay. I missed completely what you guys were saying. All right, I got to get this heated up, so give me one second. Keep talking. This is great. Helps me out. You know, where's Andy? Everybody, Andy's supposed to come and help me out here. I really wish he would. If he's watching this right now, maybe he could come over. I don't know. Maybe not. We'll see. All right, we got another 25 minutes to go in the match. So let me get this going. I gotta heat it up. Where's my lighter? Point like six eight gallons for my batch bar. So we will empty this. Oh, hold on. I'm doing this all wrong. Look at this. Doing it all wrong. Switch to a hot liquor tank. So this is uh, what we use, so we call spars. I do a batch spars. We just rinse the grains once I get all the water or wort out of my mash. So this has a measuring thing inside of it so I know exactly how much um, water or beer or wort I have. This one doesn't, so I use it as my, what we call hot liquor tank. It's just a bucket. This is what I'll use to spar, so I gotta heat it up. Okay, now we're better. Let's see here. What did I miss? False Peak Brewing. What's going on? Hey, man, we're brewing a single hop, which is Amarillo, uh, hazy IPA today. We're in the mash right now. I'm heating up the sparge water to batch sparge. Thanks for joining us. Grab some coffee. Soon I'll grab a beer and I'm going to make some beer. I'm going to get my uh, last home brew, the Coconut Brown Ale. Hopefully, if you guys were on that live stream, you saw me make it. That thing turned out fantastic. If you want a recipe for a nice brown ale with coconut, if you like coconut, I've got a good recipe for you. I'm uh, Old Norse said, uh, I'm planning a Centennial Single Hop American Pale Ale at the moment. Love Centennial Hop. That's going to be nice, nice, nice pale ale. Um, that's probably really, really good. Love Centennial Hops. Pusa Studios in, I was just talking about you, Pusa. Wow. Our awesome friends, I'm sure most people on this stream know who they are, but if you do not and you want your channel to grow and you want to see other great creators be interviewed, you got to subscribe, support Pusa Studios. Um, they give you great advice on your channel. They have a schedule of their live streams. Please check them out. I can't believe nobody on this channel or stream would not know who they are, but if you don't, you got to check out Pusa Studios. 
They are some great people and great creators that support this community, probably more so than anybody out there. Uh, they, no, I shouldn't say that, but they're one of them, no doubt about it. We owe a lot to them. Uh, no, no, they're not too kind. I think everybody in here would attest to that. Uh, they really helped us. We were on there season one, not really knowing what it was all about and uh, kind of got the ideas rolling in our head of how we really can make this thing grow. And here we are at 2,600 subscribers and, you know, really enjoying what we're doing. Got to get some things straightened out, but we'll get there. Um, so I appreciate you guys stopping on, Pusa. Thank you, thank you, thank you. One of these days we'll have you back on one of our live streams. We love to, I know Andy loves chatting with, with Andrew as well about 80s rock and sort of we're trying to get OBS straightened up. What's up, bud? What is it, bud? Oh, you found a screw? Cool. That's awesome. Thank you, buddy. All right. Get Josh and you come out and get on the camera. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Todd, I thought I saw two down any customer custom beer glasses. So in our last video, uh, Andy's father actually got us these just two ten ninety glasses. They're not we're not selling them yet, but we will. So you probably meant that. Um, we will have two ten ninety pint glasses eventually. We're gonna probably figure out our logo on there, what we're going to use. The train logo is because Linthicum is known for the Barber and Apples train that goes through it. That's where the train comes from. And 21090, if you don't know, that's our zip code. 21090, 21090 is our zip code where me and Andy live. So that's where our name is, 21090 Brewing. That's where that name comes from, if you don't know. But anyway, we've got to put the logo on it. We're going to get that all designed. We're trying to make some money. It's just we don't have time right now. The only thing we have is we are monetized. We get nothing from AdSense for that. And then Super Chat, which we last stream, we did great. We got like, I think like 30 blocks. We haven't gotten it yet because you have to meet the threshold before AdSense cuts you a check. But any money we get from the AdSense or Super Chats, Mike Albrecht already gave us a $5 Super Chat today. goes right back into the channel. Um, we're not making money on this. We're trying to grow the channel. False Peak Brewing. How are you? Whoa, Sam Billow. Oh. $10 super chat. Thank you so much. Sambilio, that's 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 amazing. I really it it, it kind of just you know when you get something like that, it makes you feel like yes, we're doing something right. Even though it takes a while to get this money back, but it will add up. We will use it, everything will go back into the channel. Um it just it, it please go support support uh Sambilio. That's that's I don't know what you want to say. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. That's that's really nice of you guys. Um, thank you. Please support Sibilio. Um, all right, I've got to just check a couple of things. Looks like the chat's going pretty good. Keep Pusa Studios here. Happy Trails. We got Craft Beer Pours, Panic D, a lot of great Canadian brewing. Diane has been with us from the beginning. Hopefully everybody's kind of meeting each other and, and – uh, we got some good connections going on. I have to just check on something real quick. Flacco, happy trail. Man, <laughs> dude, didn't have to do that, but thank you, Flacco. Ah, oh, that's amazing. And happy trails. Ah, <laughs> oh, so kind of you all. Thank you so much. That, it means a lot to, to me and Andy. Um, again, you know, we're not in this to make money, but this does help us grow the channel. As you all know, uh, we don't get any money really from AdSense. It's very little from our monetization. So this is this is great. Um, thank you. It's much appreciated. Please support Flacco's Beer Reviews if you haven't already. Please support Happy Trails. Great people, first off. That's what I always love. They're great, great people. So get to know them, and they'll be great supporters of you. Um, and they make great content. So Flacco, you know what we should do one day? We should do like a collab brew one day. What do you think? Where you're brewing down there in Texas, we're brewing up here in in Baltimore, and we're doing hangouts. Same with you, maybe even Kay, because Matt likes to brew. I think that'd be fun to do because you know we do these live streams. Maybe we could brew the same beer or two different types of beer or something like that. Think about it. Might be a good way to collaborate. Just thinking, just thinking, just thinking. All right, let me just check on some things again. Thank you for the super chats to Flacco. Uh, Flagos Beer Review and Happy Trails Hiking. Matt, Kay, amazing, amazing people. Flacco, amazing as well. Thank you. One second, let me just check this a bit. I do have to brew. Get that up a little bit. 
Gotta get the hose ready. I'm just going to hose ready, sanitize a little bit. I really don't need to worry about sanitation right now because I'm going to boil everything that comes out of there, but I still like to do it. Um, we're going to mash out in about 17 minutes. You'll see the color of the beer. So it'll get a little bit more interesting regarding brewing. The funny thing is I used to use, like, I used Brewer, Brewer's Friend, and I used to look at that program while I'm brewing all the time. I know now the brewing process so much in my head that I just, I don't have to look at it. Well, Poosh, uh, <laughs> that is, that's so, I very much appreciate it. Coming from you especially, thank you. You don't have to do that, but thank you so much. That means a lot coming from Poosh. Again, wow, uh, much appreciated for that super chat. That is beyond words. Everybody creating uh, content like that and, and supporting each other. Thank you. That helps a lot, um, especially coming from you guys. Happy Trails, Flacco, Mike, uh, everybody who's given us Super Chats, Sambilio, thank you so much. Wow, that's absolutely amazing. So, again, if you haven't seen Pusa Studios, uh, please check them out. All right, where was I? I need to uh, – it's my lovely wife. Hi, Tina. You want to be on the camera? No, she doesn't like being on the camera. <laughs> She lets me do all this stuff, so gotta gotta give some accolades to my wife Tina. She's watching the boys right now while I do this live stream and brew. Although I did brew the last beer for her because she loves that coconut brown ale. What I miss? So uh, we could figure out collabs in the future. Yeah, I'd love to do that. We're all about collabs. You know, we've had you on K at Happy Trails Hiking our live streams before, that which is amazing. But I'd love to do something different where maybe we're, I don't know, brewing a beer. I would say hiking, but we don't know. I don't know how you would do that. Um, there are some great trails around here in Maryland, but um, <laughs> Kay says she's already left already, but I'll tell her, Kay, you said hi, Tina. Okay. Um, you know, it's actually a great winter day. It's it's probably 45 degrees. You can see the uh, – it's not too cold here in Maryland, so I'm happy about that. Uh, let's see. Pusa Studios uh, History Work for You channel. Yeah, it is. Panic D is amazing. They're growing leaps and bounds, too. We, we've sort of supported them from way back as well. And um, I think they're in Pennsylvania, too. Panic D, are you going to the Baltimore meetup that Michael Fire Jr. is doing? Just curious, because if you are, you'll taste this beer then. That's what this is for. So we have this big meetup on March 2nd. I know, Kay, you probably know about this. Fortunately, Kay can't come in Baltimore, and we live literally five minutes from Baltimore, so it's great for us. Um, some people are traveling from, like, overseas, from the West Coast. There's probably 20 great channels that are coming together to meet up and just collaborate and do their own vlogs. We're going to do a video, but it's all around beer, and so it'll be from this, you know, us sharing this beer with other people. So that'll be fun. Yes. Okay, thank you for asking. So the dreaded, you know, bug who went through our house. We have ear infections, and eye infections. You know, it hits one kid, it goes to all three of them. So they're all feeling better, knock on wood. Let's just get through this winter and get this summer where we can not have to worry about that. Thank you for asking, though. Dorito and the Lucha, Lucha Cabre. Smashing the, the like button. Thank you so much. How are you? Thanks for coming in. We really appreciate, appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, Hit that like button. I'm trying to get the 100 likes today. We've got a lot of super chats. It's really helped us. We really appreciate that support. But really, I want to get the 100 likes as well. Never done that before. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but for us it is. So please hit that like button. Panic D. Let's see. What did you say here? We are in Youngstown. Oh, but we are not able to meet. Oh, darn. Take testing at the school going. Okay. Probably going. Darn it. All right. Well, I was hoping we could meet you, um, but that's okay. I'm sure there'll be more meetups. Um, I kind of love the idea of all these creators coming around from everywhere. We can finally put meet people face to face. I think it's a great thing. So, and it's right in our backyard, so we have to go. Okay. Let's see here. What else? 
Yeah, so Kay um, from Happy Trails has a uh, Midwest campout meetup in June. Fortunately, Kay will not be able to make that. Uh, we won't, but I know there's a lot of other creators that are, that are meeting up for that. So if you live in that area or are interested in hiking and want to meet other great creators, please check out Kay's channel. She has all the information about that. And I agree. I don't know if it's Andrew Ocasenia from Pusa that's on here, but um, Happy Trails Hiking, such positive energy and always well-researched and presented materials. I don't know if you're talking about Panic D or Happy Trails, but I think they both can, uh, that goes for both of them, those channels. Uh, yeah, it's steaming. Yeah, it is. So I need to get that up to like 180 degrees because I'm going to show you that in a second. What time is it? We got 10 more minutes in this mash and I drain it and then I rinse more grains on it for 15 minutes. So yeah, it's Andrew. Hey, Andrew. Um, what was I going to ask you? Um, there's a big 80s rock festival here in Maryland called uh, M3 Rock Festival that has probably 15 80s rock bands. Um, unfortunately, I'm going to be in Chicago for work. I can't go, but I think Andy might be going. It'd be right up your alley. You'd love it. Some old, old creators. Of course, Kicks will be there because it's our area, but uh, Extreme, Vince Neil, Tora Tora for crying out loud. Um, White Snake is one of the bands. So, really cool 80s rock festival right in our backyard that we always go to. I'm really disappointed I can't go this year because I'll be in Chicago for work. Trucker Family Vlogs, hey, stopping by for a minute. Thanks so much, Truck. Please, again, it's a new sort of channel that we've uh, kind of collab not collaborated, but found and uh, really support. Please check out Trucker Family Vlogs. Great, great channel. Thanks for coming in, even for a couple minutes. We really appreciate that. Um, what else did I miss? We're scheduled to be in Baltimore in November of 2020. What was that for, Panic D? I mean, that's next November, so it's a while from now, but. Good Lord, if you're in Baltimore, we got to do something. We got to meet up somehow. That we, we're right with you. Um, we would love to somehow collaborate somehow. So let us know. It's a, a while away, but if we're ever in Ohio, we'll let you know. I thought you were in PA for some reason. Pusa Sudu saying, "Oh wow, that would be awesome." I'm not sure. Very tempting. Um, what was very tempting, Andrew? Oh, the M3 Rock Festival. Yeah, it's in beginning in May. Um, in Columbia, Maryland, which is not far. So you can fly into Baltimore or D.C. And it's sort of right in the middle of those two. Um, it's at uh, Meriwether Post Pavilion. It's, it, check it out just to see the bands. M3 Rock Festival. You'll, if you Google that, you'll see it. Marlene's National Biology Teacher. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. All right. Well, great. You're at the, uh, at the convention center in Baltimore. We're literally eight minutes away from that. We're right by the airport in Baltimore. Vince Neil is really named Vince Wharton. Vince Neal has also gotten really, really big. He's kind of, if you see him now, he's fat. And he can't sing anymore. It's kind of terrible, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, all right, let me just check temperatures. I got some amazing creators on here, so the chat won't be bad without me. So please keep, keep, keep chatting. All right, so I'm up to 168. I need to get up to like 180, 190. So we'll get there. I have another eight minutes on this, and then we'll mash out. Very easy. Um, never been to Baltimore. It sounds – well, let me say this. I love my city. I love my state. Baltimore certainly has its flaws, though. As you probably know, there's parts of Baltimore that are very dangerous. Um, the Inner Harbor and Harbor East area is really nice. It's kind of a shame that you can go from like – really high-end stuff to just complete poverty and drugs and um, it's a shame. Um, so I love Baltimore and it is nice. There's nice areas, but there's very bad areas too. So unfortunately that's that's the reality of the situation. Anyway, I don't want to get on that. Um, Vince ne <laughs> Andrew says, Vince Neal should not be on stage anymore. I agree with, I love Motley Crue, but one, he's really fat. I'm afraid he's gonna have a heart attack. And two, he can't sing anymore. He can't keep up with the words. He doesn't sound good. It really stinks because I love Motley Crue. Um, combined our loves for brewing and section hiking, three to five. Hey, there you go. Boss Peak Brewing, I love that. Marion Outdoors, checking in with Pusa Studios. There you go. Another local 
a creator. Although Male Outdoors, I don't think you put up your own content, do you? I know you you have a lot of playlists from other people. Also, Todd, I will send you guys some AZIPs from Anchorage Brewery. I know. John, you are hooking us up, man. I can't wait to try those beers and give you, of course, shout outs. But we're going to definitely do some, some videos on them. So thank you for sending us them. Stacy, here I grow again. I miss what you can't wait for, but thumbs up for sticking around. I appreciate you being with us. It was like almost every major city we've been to, good and bad. We just have to be here. Yeah, that's true. Um, there's If you stay around the, the Harbor area, Harbor East, Canton, Bells Point area, right around the water, it's really nice in Baltimore. It's when you unfortunately get out to the West, it's just, there's drugs and it's, it's really bad. It's really not safe and that's, that's terrible. It's, it, it, I don't even want to talk about it. No, I, this stinks. Um, yeah, we're in the state. We're in Maryland. So I don't know if you're Stephen, Dennis, I don't know if you're talking to me or somebody else, but we are in the States. I know Pusa's in Canada, right outside Montreal. Wild Side is, an, is the iconic age glam anthem. Yeah, you're right. I love it. Try to hear him sing that now. He can't. Can't keep up. Boy, Andrew from Pusa, uh, Andy, my better half on this uh, channel, he's going to be really upset that he missed you guys. Maybe he's watching this and can come over real quick because I know he'd like to talk to you about some 80s rock music. That's, that's darn sure. <laughs> that's how it's here in El Paso. More bad areas, but there's some good areas. Yeah, I guess that's how it is in every major city, and it's really a shame. But, um, you know, Baltimore gets a really bad rap. There's a lot of murders. There's a lot of crime. It's all because of drugs. It's really bad. Um, it stinks. It really stinks. It's my hometown. I've lived here all my life, and it's kind of how it's been. Um, I, I don't want to get on a whole political tirade about it, but it's just it's sad that nothing ever changes. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll leave it at that. All right. So um, I am going to have uh, five more minutes in this. I'm going to check my temperatures and get a few things ready to transfer this sweet wart now that's created in here. Hopefully I don't have a stuck sparge. Any brewers out there, you know what I mean, or stuck mash. When I try to drain this, there could be, there's a false bottom in this thing. That's what keeps the grains above the spigot line. And if it gets clogged somehow, I put a lot of flaked oats and flaked wheats, I gotta do something that's probably not really great. So let's pray that it's not a uh, stuck mash. And I gotta go get a bucket. I'll be right back. Chalk them like yourselves. Again, hit that like button, please. Try and get the 100 likes on this live stream. We're making beer for a meetup with other creators. So mm -hmm. give me a thumbs up, please. I'm back. Sorry, guys. Got a picture. I'll show you what it's called. Vorl off. It's a German term for basically running off the first runnings. It's going to be really got a bunch of grain bits in it. You don't want that in your your beer. I got to run that off. Uh, Todd, we need to go. Have a great weekend. Kay, happy trails. Thank you for the super chat again. You're so kind. I really appreciate it. Um, maybe we can collaborate. I keep that idea open. We'll we'll chat and maybe we can do a collaboration brew or something like that. But have a great weekend, Matt Kay from Happy Trails Hiking. Thanks so much again. If I mash, let's see, uh, Panic D still in the house. That's great. So Panic D, when you come in, in November, we got to figure out a way to get people together to do some type of meetup. I mean, that, there's a lot of creators. I know Michael and Jay Littman. There's a bunch of people that live in this area that could possibly meet up. So November 2020, we'll do a meetup. It's got to. Uh, I mash wheat flakes. I add them to mash on top. Yes, that's what I did. I did as well, but I did stir it in a little bit. I'm hoping it didn't fall to the bottom. So yeah, I don't want to get a stuck sparge either. 
Stacy, well, you guys are sweeter than sugar. I have learned so much from you. Agree 100%, Stacy. Not only are they great people, and that's the, the main thing. I, I say that a lot. They're great people. They're great supporters of this entire community. They've helped us get to where we are. And then they've also, no doubt about it, helped a lot of other people. Um, they give you great uh, tips on how to grow your channel and make it better, how to optimize it. We've learned a lot from them too. So hopefully everybody's hooking up with them. Yeah, it is sad, isn't it, uh, Maryland Outdoors? It's really sad because it's a great area. And there's so much to do. Oh, hold on. Trish is back saying that they're going to Trillium. Uh, Trish, that must be tough for you, though, because you can't drink it. Um, I can't wait for when we do a beer trade to get that Trillium from you guys because I've never had Trillium. And I know Brandon just did a review of Heading the Topper, which is one of my favorite beers. He says Trillium's better. I kind of believe him. I've heard great things about Trillium as well, so I believe that. Diana is still here. Diana, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Hopefully, you're meeting a bunch of other great creators. We got 20 people watching. How many likes do we have? Can somebody tell me that? I don't know how to figure that out. There's, I wish I could figure this stuff out. We will eventually. <clears throat> I love seeing collabs. It's a great way. To, it is a great way. We love doing collabs too. We've done a collabs with a bunch of different creators. We we're going to be doing something with Trish and from one step at a time for her baby growing a beer. We've done stuff with having trails. We've done stuff, you know, with uh, Pusa Studio. So we love. It's a great way to get your channel exposed to other people and that you normally wouldn't. And then also it's a great way to meet people and just you know um, grow that way. I think it's really cool. Just DM'd you on the Twitter. Okay, um, not sure what about Pusa, but okay, I'll check it out after this. 52, come on, we need some more likes. I'm trying to get the 100. I don't know if we'll get there now. We've kind of stalled at 52. Someone could say <laughs> one sip at a time. 51, all right, well, if we can get, if you haven't liked it already, please hit that like. Maybe I won't get the 100. I'd love to get the 100 likes by the end of this. We still have about another two hours to go, but we're halfway there. We're halfway there. <clears throat> Let's see, what do we got here? Um, let me see. Sorry, one second. Yes, let me see if I can do that. That'd be great, Andrew. Give me one second. I would love that. Let me, let me figure out how to do that. One second, okay? Give me one second, Andrew. Give me one second. We may have beautiful guests come. Hold on one second. Give me one second. Yes. Yes, I have the letter. Oh, thank you. One second, Andrew. Andrew, I'll be sending you the link in one second. Give me one through your direct message. Hopefully that'll get to you. Give me one second. Sorry, guys. I apologize. We're going to try to bring on a guest. Although I don't know how that works with this mic. So hopefully I can hear you. We'll have to see. Uh, I just sent the link to you, Andrew. So please, I would love some... I would love, 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 love some company. Didn't really think about doing hangouts. Probably should have. Helps me not to worry about everything. Maybe Andrew will, I don't know if I will be able to hear him though, but we'll find out. Because I know this Yeti mic is weird with sound. So we'll see. I have no idea. All right, back to the chat. What's going on? Two sips at a time. Yeah, Stacy, thanks for joining us. Hopefully, everybody's checked out Stacy. I just she's a new creator that we kind of hooked up with within the last week, I guess. So I'm glad you got on our live stream. It's great to kind of talk this way. Um, hopefully, that worked. I don't know, Andrew, if that got to you or not. Let me know. But I've got a mash out, so maybe you'll pop up in a second. All right, so here's where we are. This is the moment of truth. We're growing 
Hopefully I don't have a stuck bash. All right, that's good. You don't, so far. And there's a ton of, hey. Hey. Can you hear me? Yeah, can you hear me? Andrew. Yeah, I can hear you. Yes, yeah, I can hear you. Hold on one second, brother. No I problem. That's not good. Can everybody hear me in the chat? I hope, I hope this is working. Let me get this out. Hold on one second. I'm going to switch over mics. <laughs> I don't know why I can't hear you when I'm using the Yeti mic. I don't that's, know why. That's strange. So I just need to change this over to the oh. different mic. Hi, everybody. How are you? <laughs> Great to see you. Great to see you all. Take this out. One second. <laughs> oh, my God. The bearded beer man. How are you? Now we, now we can't hear him. No, I'm messing up his show on to him. <laughs> I have no fear, guys. If it's not working out, I'm going to drop right away so you can get back to your regular scheduled program. His mic is on mute, so he must be doing something. I'm hoping. Hear me now. <laughs> I can hear you perfect. All right, there we go. I'm how sorry about that. No, how are you? I'm doing great, friend. How are you? Just trying to brew some beer. What are you up to? Not too much. It's so, Usually I never offer that too often, but you... Uh, you have known a long time, and it looks so strange just to see you on a live stream. I know. <laughs> you're right. Andy's going to be very upset. And it's like with me and Xenia, like it's it's like your right and left hand, you know? So that's why I seen you on there, and I said, oh, come on. It's been a while since we talked, so. It is. I, 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 I want to, hopefully everybody on this chat knows who you are, but if not, um, maybe you can just tell us a little bit about your channel and sort of what you guys do at Pusa Studios and why you're so great. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, not to put you on the spot or anything. I think you got me blushing. Uh, <laughs> God, I don't even know what to say. We're a husband and wife team from Montreal who do video and photography, and we also do live streams six nights a week. And we do everything is kind of revolves around channel building. There you go. Yep. Exactly. And you know, Andrew, when's the I don't, I'm trying to figure out when we were on your season one. Oh. It was a while ago, right? Oh, yeah. If, and that's the thing about YouTube. It's like dog years to real years. Everything feels like, like you know, it, like you guys, I feel like I've known you for 15 years now. You know, same as mo in here, like uh, uh, 210, uh, uh, Sean and Marianne and all them. Yeah. It's just been yeah. so long and, and amazing. <laughs> the, I cannot stress it enough, you know, but I don't know. I, I guess maybe June. Yeah, I think it was around June. We were at like, I keep saying telling the story. You know, we were just starting to really hit our stride and figure out what we wanted to do with the channel. We were at like 700. Yes. We were on Jaded Diva's live stream and you said, hey, we'd love to have you on our show. And I had no idea who you were. Yeah, we kind of, bought, well, I liked your channel. I seen what you guys were doing. You were a team and I was looking for teams at the time. Okay. Whenever possible. And I seen it and I'm like, I went and checked you out and I'm like, yeah, th these guys got something going here. Like, cause you guys did more of the process at the time. I, I had already gotten to know him. We had on our channel, like, uh, like, uh, Brandon and Trish who are phenomenal. You know, we got yeah. to know Jada yeah. Diva and we kept looking for different ones each time. And you guys were that new type of thing. We never connected with before actual people brewing homebrew. So that was That's all great. over it. <laughs> yeah, we had a blast. I mean, it kind of went uh, our love of beer to our love of 80s rock. To yeah. <laughs> Andy's love of Montreal. Andy's love of Montreal. Yeah, he's going to be really upset. He might now, now that he, if he's watching this at home, he, he might just jump over here just to talk to you. He's going to be really upset he missed you. <laughs> you, got, you guys are awesome. You really are. And you, you keep that energy going all the time. You never slack in your videos or live streams. You you keep that so consistent, like hats off to you for that. Well, we learn from you, um, so that's one of the things. But the other thing, you know, we, we struggle with that. that. That's probably a lot of struggle for a bunch of creators is do we push out a lot of content or do we take the time to really edit it? And Andy's, Andy does all the editing for our channel. Yeah. And, and it takes a while to edit what you want. He's got multiple camera angles now. He's hooking up different things with audio. We're tr we still have things to improve on, though. We still are not there yet, but... It takes a while for Andy to, to edit a video for us now. Yeah, but guys, your quality just keeps getting up and up and up and up. And I yeah. see it. I, I, I do say that. I, I wouldn't say it if I didn't mean it. You guys constantly keep pushing yourselves. 
I remember one time when you guys were on with us, I have that thing I say once in a while, and I remember Andy liked it. I always said that when I'm editing, I try to learn three new techniques every time I do a video. Yeah. And I see Andy's kind of following in that uh, tradition, if you will, and it sure Certainly is. He, back, he just he found something out yesterday where he can sync up the audio and have it you know much easier for him. So it's actually he used Power Director. That's what he uses. I don't know if that's he used Power Director as his editing software. He's he every time he does something, he finds something new to use. So that's always good. Um, but you know, then you, then you need better equipment. And we're looking for a soundboard like you have, and you know, so we can do things like this. I mean, I, I have this microphone, but I just I couldn't even. I don't know why the Blue Yeti when I brought you on, I couldn't hear you. I don't know why. That I'm confused yeah. about. It must be uh, shifting in because it's got a built-in headset. Maybe it's conflicting in, onto it. You might have to just set it in your uh, okay in your um, sound mixer, you know, on, on Windows in there. Right. Um, because, yeah, I talked to lots of people with Blue Yetis. That's the first time I've seen that. Oh, yeah. wow. There's the uh, beer. That's the color of it. So it's going to be a that, – that's actually dark. It'll be lighter once we get done with it. But one sip at a time, Trish. Thank you for pushing out the tweet, uh, the channel on the on Twitter. Um, please tweet it out. We're looking to get the hundred likes. Hopefully, we yes. get there. I don't know but, if we can or not. Guys, definitely, if you haven't hit the like button, please do. And Trish is such a sweetie, isn't and she? she just the sweetest. I mean, the best. The best. Yeah. And I want to thank uh, Stacy for all the kind words. You are so you're so amazing. Thank you so much. And Tucker Family Vlogs as well. Yeah, uh, Canadian Brewing Channel. I can't wait to. I'm. I have a thing where I'm collecting as many Canadian channels as possible. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's, that's a hobby of mine. So yes, and we definitely are neighbors. So it's a real pleasure. That's great. Yeah, Diane is from Canada as well, and uh, the bearded beer man. Great to see you. It's been a minute. Yeah. Hope that as well. That's uh, Chris. He's out in I think Washington. I think that's where he is. Yeah, well, he has the Aussie. He, he lives up to the beard so well. I mean, he he, he, he walks the walks. So. He's, he, he's the exact opposite of me. He has <laughs> hair and I have none. <laughs> yeah, but you wear it well, my friend. You're thinking all the time. There you, there you go. There you go. That hair would just slow you down. Here's my, Andrew, here's my, my middle son, Benjamin. Hey, he's Benjamin. Five years old. How are you? He's in Canada right now. Say hi, Andrew. Hi. <laughs> hi, Benjamin. How are you? <laughs> Good. He's, he's a future brewer, right? Ben? That's right. There you go. There you go. He Just likes going on. He thinks it's fun to see himself on the, on the camera. Well, I don't blame him. Isn't it fun? <laughs> Look at all the stuff Andrew has. He's got a cool microphone, doesn't he? All right. Well, say bye to everybody. All right. Bye. All right. Uh, you take care. <laughs> Good job, buddy. I love that. That's like the old days where you used to learn with your dad on everything. I love that. Yeah. Kind of stuff. Yep. 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 Hold on one second. As I have to treat my water real quick. You. Do what you got to do, my friend. I do not step in the way of a craftsman. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm glad you helped me out here. Usually I have Andy. He couldn't make it today. So it's nope. actually thought about bringing somebody on to help you with that. Well, like I say, I'll try my best. Uh, and once again, guys, if you haven't hit the like button, please do. If you can tweet it out, that is really awesome. Let's get as yes. many people in here as possible. Let's We're go. watching a live brew. we got to get people in here. This is a spectacle. This is something to see. That's right. Uh, you know, we're brewing this, Andrew, for our creator meetup that we're doing with Michael Fire and a bunch mm. of local creators that March is, 2nd. So we figured, awesome. what can we do for that, you know, that, that meetup? So I said, let's brew a beer. And that way kind of, you know. It's, it's, a a it's a given, isn't it? <laughs> I think so, right? You couldn't show up without beer, right? So. It's, that would be sacrilege. So. That would be. That would be. <laughs> And what is, I missed the beginning. So, what flavor are you going for this time? So, this is a real tropical citrus forward uh, orange. It's a IPA, but it's it's a hazy IPA. It won't be bitter. It'll be real juicy. Um, it's a, a single hop called Amarillo. Oh, oh cool. Come here. Here's my youngest son, Nicholas. Nicholas, Nicholas. say hi. hi. <laughs> How are you? Can I see your shirt? I want to read your shirt. Oh, yeah. What does it say? That's a cool shirt. What does it say? It says, Dad rocks, Mom rules. Yeah, that <laughs> <that's> sounds about <laughs> right. <laughs> that nails it. How yeah. are you guys today? Say good. Good. Good, yeah. Ah, excellent. They're, they're in a Toy Story kick, so they, they love watching Toy Story. Were you watching Toy Story? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. I like Toy Story, too. Buzz or Woody? I or like Jesse? Buzz, Jesse. Oh, Buzz and Jesse? Oh, you're all of them. Okay. All right. Let's call it. Say bye, oh, everybody. Bye. 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 Oh, my God. He just lights up when he says it. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm there you go. Kid after my own heart, you know. I love it. All right, so um, Andrew, I gotta do something with the brew, take over, and uh, I don't sure. know. The chat, I'm sorry. No, <laughs> no problem. I got it. There you go. Thank you for doing that. No problem. <laughs> Uh, Flacco, it's great to see you, my friend. How you been doing as well? Always such a pleasure to see you. Yes, they are adorable, Stacey. I agree a hundred percent. They're 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 always laughing at me because I'm always saying that's such a Canadian thing. I guess is that hundred percent after everything. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I say it. I think it'd become a drinking game on our live streams. Every time I say it, you'd be drunk within a half hour. <laughs> Not too much, my friend. Not too much. Um. Uh, well, a lot of snow here. <laughs> that, that, if that counts for anything, um, we're still getting bailed out. They only have one side of our streets done, which is uh, <laughs> we got hit with 15 inches of snow that fell oh. over at night. Literally, we went to bed and woke up to 15 inches of new snow. <clears throat> Taking care of biz. Excellent. Excellent. A uh, Faith Channel, how are you? It's so nice to see you. Oh, Faith Channel. Hey, that's a new, we just kind of saw them, I think, in your stream. So we just hooked up with them. Recently. Great to see. A staple in Ben's channel on that. Great to yeah, see yeah. you. Great to yeah. see you. All right. Ben is awesome. He is. He is. Oh, Flacco, you're still there. Hey, there you go. Thanks for the super chat. And, and Andrew, thank you for the super chat. Yeah, very kind of you. Hey, you, you, guys, you guys deserve that and much more. Thank you so much. Man. I will. Always sing your praises. As you know, I mean, if you, and you guys do this for a business, the, the, the AdSense, at least for us, it's it's ministry. Okay? Oh, no. No, no. For us, we're retired now. We've made so oh. much in AdSense, we never have to work ever again, you know. <laughs> that $91 has really come in handy over these months. <laughs> right. So, I mean, it's, it, it's great to get monetized, and it's a great thing. There's other perks to that, but, you know. Yeah. Unless you're getting hundreds of thousands of views, you're not you're not making much money on this. So no, and and it, it's the kindness of people. It, it is amazes me how like it's not solicited, it's not anything, just to come out and do something like that. Yeah. It, it the money is nice, but it's the the I know it that is. sounds corny and too, but it is. It's the sentiment behind it. You know, 100%. you're worth you're worth something. I see value in what you're doing. You know. Yes. Yes. And, and, that, that's, yeah. It is. It is. And so and for us, it, it means a lot because it's something just very new to us. So I know we just got monetized again in December. And so the last stream, we had some some super chats. And, you know, it was just the, the kindness that people would say, you know what, I want to give you a few bucks to show you how much we appreciate what you're doing. That's what it means. To us. Oh, it's heartwarming. It is. It really is. You know, it it really is. It's so nice to get to talk to you. It feels like forever. I know. I, it, it has. We, we haven't. We've been very busy with personal life, and Andy's been busy with work. So it's hard for us to get our live streams. Same as us. I mean, uh, it, it, where's the time anymore? Really, you know. And I, hate, I feel bad, but you can only do so much in the run of a day. I know. Well, you guys are on six days of the week, so. Um, and, and with the interviews, I mean, it's easily a forty-hour-a-week job. Yeah. Like. God. Unbelievable! I don't know how. Who do you guys have lined up for this week? Anybody uh, you want to promote or anything like that? Or um, oh my god, I'm going to forget her name off oh, the top of my head. Monday okay. night, Monday Monday night is uh, she's a famous uh, Cuban singer. She's Ooh. toured and she sang with Ricky Martin and all. And uh, yeah, it's exactly Here's a question for you. And I probably should have asked this last night on your live stream where you were taking questions. But no, go ahead. Uh, how do you find these creators? And some of these are, are are celebrities, sort of even outside the YouTube community. Are you just doing networking through everywhere? Mary everywhere, okay. People recommending people to us, uh, us going out, and now and now that's what we do a lot more. That's why they take more time. We're literally going out and looking through channels, and also as we get, as we've gotten to meet people who who get bigger channels, they can kind of sometimes connect us with somebody bigger. You know. Uh. So if you, like that's always been the thing. Like if we meet somebody, say in the fish tank community, who has ten thousand subscribers, chances are they might know somebody who has thirty thousand subscribers, and they know somebody with sixty thousand, and so on and so forth. But they got to be interesting. I mean, we've had channels on this even this season still, like uh, Donna and her Uke. She only had five hundred subscribers, but she's crazy talented. Yeah, you yeah. know. Uh, so stuff like that. Uh, I'm just looking. Uh, her name is. Uh, 
Lisa Quinn. She's a Cuban American artist, and oh. she's played with Ricky Martin. She's sang with Ricky Martin. She's touring all the time, and yeah, we're always trying to open up new avenues. Did you now again? You found her just through recommendations, or I mean, I have yeah, no YouTube idea. Channel? One. I have no idea in this one. No <laughs> Xenia founder. I we do that sometimes. I'll come up with somebody and then she'll come to me. We literally sit down and pitch to each other. Mm -hmm. And we'll we'll say, like, what do you think of this one? Wow, I ran into this person. What do you think? Yeah. I have my eye on one I'm gonna be working on next week, and he's the biggest channel we'll ever we've ever had if we get him. Mm. He's got 1.2 million. Wow, and it's called the After Prison Show. It is such a phenomenal channel. After prison show. All right. He spent seven. He's a young man, probably right now around thirty. He spent seven and a half years in prison for armed robbery. He came mm -hmm. out, turned his life around, and couldn't like most prisoners, uh, ex cons couldn't get a job anywhere. So he started documenting his life and what it's like to be out of prison, and it's turned into this massive oh, channel. Wow. He just helped a guy who got out of jail after 40 years get back on his feet and all this community built around it and giving him work to get into this. And I love That's it. A great story. That's it amazing. is. Exactly. It's it's one thing. I mean, if we wanted numbers, we could just bring on like every gamer there is. But it doesn't mean there's any kind of a story behind right. it. Right. Sure. So, That's yeah. I can't wait for that. That's that's great. That's great. We have this, the salon guy is going to probably be on on the 25th. He has five, almost 600,000 subscribers oh. and just released a book. He uh, teaches people how to cut hair like celebrities look. So if you see like Brad Pitt at the runway, he'll do a video on how to cut your hair to look that way yeah. and stuff like that. <laughs> 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 but anyway, <laughs> that's okay. We'll, we'll let you pass on that. <laughs> I know. I just love your humor, but I love it. <laughs> so anyway, that's funny. I met him in Gary V's stream. Okay. He cool. was just chatting, and I'm like, "Hey, I see the check yeah. mark. We just got. That's how we do it. Sometimes we'll just get talking, and hey, I see what you got. We do this. Are you interested? And so a lot will say no. We'll send out mass emails. Some will say no. Some won't reply. Sure. But Cast a big net. No doubt. South mm -hmm. Texas Prepper, STP, thanks for jumping in. Hopefully, oh. yeah, another great creator right yes. there. So many great channels, isn't there? It is. You know, it's great to see familiar faces from your your streams and, and, and others that we, we've met. I, I, that's what I also love. You know, you get on here, especially for us, that we don't go on very regularly. It's always wondering, is anybody even going to come on? And inevitably, we have great support, and, they're, you know, it's a, it's a good chat. And we, we certainly love just talking with people face-to-face -face like this. Chat. You, you've done the right thing is yeah. you build bonds with people yes. yeah and that's what keeps re recurring people reoccurring uh followers yeah i think you gotta make that emotional connection you know there's yep if you feel like someone's actually invested in you uh, and, and and likewise you're certainly going to be more likely to support them and that's what we try to do i mean um, we try our best, and there's a lot out there that we support to at least somehow be in people's live streams, be watch their videos. We, you know, we only try to support content that we really, you know, enjoy. I mean, yes. so that's the thing. I know you, you, you talk about it. it's not sub or sub. We, you, you certainly want to uh, get out there and promote yourself and, and interact and collaborate, but you, you got to have that, you know, sort of connection so that you don't just subscribe for to subscribe. It's not going to do you any good. You've talked about that. Um, it it is. But like for us, we have to bring in more because the simple reason the type of channel we do. Like that's we kind true. of that's true. We have to cast that extra big net so you guys can cast a smaller one. I always say that that. so we bite the bullet sometimes we have to deal with the ones that come in that are a problem, but at least we're filtering them out. So hopefully. Yes. But once again, we can't force anybody to go and watch your content. A, you gotta have content when they get there, or otherwise they're going once and leaving. And B, if they never watch again, there's nothing we can do about it either. No program can ever force anybody, unless you sit down and physically take over their computer. You know. <laughs> Let me ask you this, Andrew. To give advice to everybody that's in this chat, um, what what is if you could give one piece of advice to creators that are watching this video, that are saying, "How can I grow?" What is the one key thing or two key things that you think people should concentrate on to really grow their channel? I mean, is there something? I know there's not. A golden ticket that gets you there, but what would you suggest? What are the things that people should really be doing? Uh, I'll just sum it up. The, the best way I can sum it up is uh, it's normal when you first start your channel, you're like going to college. You got to figure out where your voice is at, and you don't know till you try it. You go in in the semester of sciences, oh, I think I'm better in the humanities. Mm -hmm. But get settled soon. And once you know what you want, it's sticking to it. 
Too many people I watch fluctuate all the time. Oh God, he made a lot. He got a lot of views last week doing this. Guess what? I'm a pumpkin uh, channel, and the next week <laughs> I'm I'm a roller derby channel, and your audience will never emotionally connect with you. You got to commit to something and see it through, and do it the best you can. That means using TubeBuddy to make sure everything is covered, or VidIQ, whichever one, and working and getting better. Yeah. You know, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. I, I want to just say this one thing because this is so important. Look at your channel uh, once a week and say, if I was new, would I watch what I'm seeing here? And that's what people have the hardest time doing. Yeah, that's true. That is a very good point. That's a very good point. You know, mm -hmm. for us, we started this channel just to document our homebrewing, and that was great, and, we, and it got us started. But then we very quickly realized that if we wanted to actually grow this, we, we had to not only – cast a little bit larger a net i mean we still stay true to what we do which is brewing beer and beer but we want how to do things different we couldn't do what everybody else is doing out there because we would not differentiate ourselves nobody yeah. would value in it we wouldn't grow so that was the first thing we started thinking what can we do that's different yep um in our niche and yep. then two how do we collaborate with people outside of our niche but still stay true to what we do and so that's where we've met people like you happy trails hiking you know michael five people that are not really brewers but great collaborators, they still like beer or just have interesting stories. And we figured out a way to do that, I think, pretty well. And that's kind of come from what you've told us way back when is how you really want to do this. It, it's perfect sense. I always tell people the most original thing you can bring to an already saturated platform like YouTube is you. Yeah, yeah that's true. Because yeah. otherwise you're copying somebody somewhere down the road. Right. And that's what makes you stand out. I mean, whatever we do somebody's pretty much done it in some shape or form on YouTube, but they've never been you. And I've always brought up the example like Zenny and I. Yep. We're 45 and 35. She's from Latvia. I'm from Canada. All these things that make us us, nobody else has. And that's what we play on to is those points. And the same as with you guys. Same with everybody here in the chat. Everybody here is an individual, which means you're unique on YouTube if you use that. So always... Bring out the best in your personality. Be you. Don't try to be somebody else. Be you. And I know it sounds like some sort of cliche answer to everything, but it really is important because otherwise there's somebody you're copying. I've been inspired by people, but I don't want to be them. Yeah. I want to take points from here and here and here. And I'm always learning too from you guys. I'm watching stuff that you guys are all doing and saying, oh, I like the way they did that, but now how can I make it my own? You got it right, sure. You know, I don't want people coming on and say, "Oh, really? Two ten ninety brewing all over again?" Because <laughs> I can't be two nine two ten ninety brewing. So as soon as I do anything like that, the first thing you always will be is compared to the original. Yeah. Look at Bond. I, I was just telling Xenia that the other day. We because we talk about this stuff all the time. It's sickening. I think <laughs> we're in the car going for groceries. We even discuss this. I said a group. Look at Bon Jovi. Uh -huh. Everybody craps on them. Says, "Oh, everybody's like Bon." No. Bon Jovi was Bon Jovi, and then 5,000 other bands tried to be Bon Jovi. Yeah, yeah. That's you know? Oh, but yeah. It, it, that's the difference. You're always going to be re re compared to the one who was the original in it. So be yourself. There you go. There's the, there's the advice directly from Andrew. <laughs> everybody. You've, got, you've got the advice now. Now I'm doing it. <laughs> Sorry, I hope I don't sound preachy or anything. No. No, no I mean, and, and the thing is, you know, even with all that, though, Andrew, it's still not, it's not easy. There's, it's such a, a grind. I mean, even with the success that we've had, it's such a small, it's, it's nothing in the grand scheme of things. But, and, you know, there's times where we're like, gosh, it's so much work. Is it really worth it? But, you know, it is because we have times like this where we get to meet people or, you know, there's nothing better for us than when we post a video and we get really good feedback. That is the best thing ever. We absolutely love that. I mean, that, that is the best thing when we get positive feedback a lot of dialogue and people really generally, I think, enjoy what we're doing. And I think for all the creators on here, that's probably the same thing. That's why we're doing this. I mean, that you, you want to kind of share your experiences and get positive feedback. And well, you guys us, are, you oh. guys are rock star fans. You yeah. are now rock stars. Yeah. You I don't know the audience, you know, and all these things are all kind of you guys living out your rock dreams through YouTube. And I think a lot of people are some shape or fashion doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Did you do? You feed off the audience and everything, and, and, and the live stream, the comments, the messages, they're all the same thing. It's just another rock show, really. And Maryland Outdoors is a local guy with us. He asked, how did you come up with your channel name? So this is going to be good for you, Maryland Outdoors, because you know the zip code area around here. Our <laughs> zip code is 21090. That's Linthicum, Maryland. 21090. 
we just made the 10, T-E-N, to make it something different. So our, our name is actually our zip code, where we live. That's all that is. That's how our name came to be. And it's a catchy yeah. name, and it has helped you guys. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's Andy's credit. Andy came up with that name. So he's Andy is certainly more of the uh, uh, creative one of the two of our group. I am more of the analytical. I love. I do all the outreach. So if you're on a live stream, it's 95% of the time it's going to be me that's commenting. Yeah. Um, and then I also do a lot of the – Andy likes to brew, but brewing is my passion. I do it once a month. Yeah. Uh, he, he does it, but so we, 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 the good thing about the group is we have great strengths that we work together and that's really helped us. Having two people is, and you probably test to this, we both have our strengths and it works well together to help grow our channel. So that's a good advantage we have is being a, a you know, a couple in this whole thing. Um, you know, it, it allows you to do a little bit more. Well, that's why I offered when you were on and I am like, yeah, I said, I haven't talked to him in a while. This is a good time because I know what it's like when you're used to being. Yes. Yeah. I, I really appreciate that. And John Hill just said, where's Andy? So Andy is has been traveling for work all week um, and had some duties at home this morning. He could not get away. He was going to try, but I don't think it's going to happen. So, you know, he said, do it, go live. You know, you're brewing. People like seeing that. So do it. You can handle it. But it would be nice if Andy was here. Now that Andrew's on, he's really going to be upset. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, a reasonable facsimile. I have. This is yeah, another yeah. Andrew. <laughs> that's right. There you go. There you go. I have Andrew. It's just a different Andrew. That's all. That's all. That's all. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so funny. Are you guys, what do you have on tap tonight? Are you, you don't go Saturdays, do you? No, we don't go on yeah, Saturdays. You know, Saturdays. Um, and then you have Sunday. Is is that back to the wheel? The wheel. Yeah. And, and that, you know. That, that's funny. I see how your numbers, when you have the wheel, it, it really skyrockets. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. How you guys handle that. I mean, that. When you have 180 people in the chat, that's, whew. I don't <laughs> know how you do that. Once again, how... once again, two people. Yeah. <laughs> We've almost developed a system where we look at, I look at the top half, she looks at the bottom half. We've never even discussed it. It just kind of works that way. We're we're very in sync. I'm sure, like you said, with you and Andy, you know, I I we just do things without even talking about it. We've kind of come up with systems to make things work. So yeah, that's great. Uh, one funny comment, and somebody we talked about our name two ten ninety. I guess uh, his his zip code Maryland two twelve thirty seven. Oh, there you go. That works. I think there's copyright infringement on that somehow. Yeah. <laughs> Something tells me. <laughs> Something tells and uh, 55 likes. All right, so we need to get more likes. Yeah. Yeah. Possibly. Let's get some likes up here. If we can try to get maybe to say, I was trying for 100. I don't know if it's going to happen, but if anybody's come in new, please hit us a like. We're trying to get to 100 likes today. Um, everyone, have a good week. Going to breakfast now. Diana, you've been on here since like 930. Thank you so much. Hopefully yeah. you've met some other great creators. She's uh, such a sweetie. Uh, really great. Appreciate you stopping. Go get some nice breakfast, and, and we'll see you next time. No doubt about it. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you. Come on. All right, Andrew, I'm going to uh, get this thing cooking. So Sounds like a plan. Give me one second and uh, see what the chat's saying. All right. And, Diane, you have a really great day. It's always such a pleasure to see you. And uh, Flago's Beer Review is, okay, clean house, time to chill. Exactly. <laughs> I <you> agree. <laughs> Yeah, now you can put up your feet and have a cold one and enjoy the day. Three thumbs up, exactly. That's right. Oh, man, I wish I was there to have a beer with him. One of these days, i got to make my way down to Baltimore. I'd love to do some uh, traveling through and get to meet some of the YouTubers live. Okay. That would be awesome. And, you know, when you think about it, it wouldn't be that much of a drive to get down and everything else. It's just that time of year, all the snow we have here and everything else going on. Just like everything else in life. Good intentions, but it's to find the time. And my, I have to drive my kids to school in the winter. My daughter takes school bus, but my son, they don't offer it. And the weather is horrible, so I was just wanting to see if I could do something here. Oh. Uh, there we go. I am I haven't played with Hangouts in a little while, so I'm trying to re-remember everything. But I hope you guys are having a great day. Oh, definitely, Flacco. Most definitely. That would be awesome. And uh, I'd love to meet as many as possible. I mean, uh, there's so many amazing people out here on YouTube to, to, to catch up with and meet and mingle and all that stuff. I don't know. This the other night, like I said, we got 15 inches of snow in one night. This picture here, the streets were clean when we went to bed, and this is what it looked like. Oh, a couple of, 
the next morning. Yeah, that was just overnight. Did you know that was coming? They announced that we, but usually they're always off by some, and it's like, <laughs> yeah, whatever. That, that's off by a lot. Yeah, <laughs> that was off by a lot. Yeah, that was that was a uh, pretty crazy, uh, crazy storm. Yeah. Do you normally have bad winters like this, Andrew? Montreal, yeah. There, yeah. Mon Montreal's very weird because we have Alaska winters and Miami summers. Okay. It's yeah. mi it's minus forties and plus forties. That's what we run around. Right, not as much minus forty. That's one to thank God. It's but, but uh, the snow can be really heavy. Yeah. That's uh, yeah. I can imagine Canadian Brewing Channel. I can imagine as well. Yep, we all go through it. I hope everybody's ready for spring or warm weather. I know oh, I, I, I had enough. Our weather's all like a month and a half behind the times. You know, we get it so much later now. It seems like we had a green Christmas here. We were out of out of the city for the Christmas, but they had a green Christmas in Montreal. We used to have like four feet of snow here at Christmas. Oh, really? Yeah. And weather's over the last ten years, especially. I find you can see it a lot. Yeah. Hold on one second, no problem. No problem. Um, yeah, Montreal is uh, in the in the downtown core. There are sixty five metro stations, and it's an under. They call it the underground city because every all the buildings downtown on the main couple of streets are all connected to the subway via underground stores and everything. So you, it's made that way. So the city, because the city used to shut down from large snowfalls. And now you can actually, if you can get into downtown by the metro or the subway, you can do everything downtown all day without ever having to come back up again. It just all connects. So there's kilometers along the roads of these underground connection, like not tunnels, but like walkways that go through all the basements with stores and everything. And you can just bounce around the whole city and never have to go in the snow. Well, yeah, I was uh, way back when going to college, I was looking to play soccer. Uh, and I took a trip to Canisius, which is in Buffalo, New York. Oh. And a recruiting trip. And I got off the plane, and uh, there's snow everywhere. This is in the mid, I think it's in February. It's snow everywhere. And they had tunnels to each of the buildings to go to class to class. And I said, there's no chance I'm going to school here. <laughs> Much less play soccer. There's no way. It's too cold for me. That was like we were talking about tuition the other night that we got on the talk of that. <laughs> like here, if you're a resident in the province of Quebec, we have CEGEP instead of college. And it's like okay. two-year pre-university, three-year professionals. They were protesting two years ago to have the tuition removed, uh, uh, lowered because it's too expensive. They pay $50 a semester. That's, <laughs> That's too expensive? Yep. There was a left-wing group that decided that that was wow. robbing kids. Come to school here. Jeez, Louise. McGill University, which is an Ivy League school in, in its own right, it's uh, world-renowned. You usually go there for the sciences. Uh -huh. If you live in Quebec, the tuition is about $1,700 a semester. Jeez, it's outrageous here. I, I got a 14-year-old who's going to high school, and I'm dreading what he's going to be like when he gets to college. It's, 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 it's ridiculous. It's absolutely – some people, I wonder if, like, if it, is, is college really worth that much money? Is the – you know – if you get into some kind of trade or something like that, you can be just as successful doing that kind of work without a college degree. I, I most for sure. After the wall fell, the Soviet Union, like everybody had to have a college degree in Latvia. So when Xenia was first here and I said, I hope my kids all go into the trades, like a plumber, electrician, those yeah. things. And she was a bit mortified. And then I took her out to Bord de Lac, one of the more expensive places in Montreal. And I said, look at these houses. It's not all Mercedes. A lot of them are like vans that do yeah. electricians, duct work. Call a plumber at three in the morning and see what you'll pay for him to walk in the door. Yep, yep, yep. And he doesn't have fifty or a hundred thousand dollars debt to start. Within That's two right. years, he's already working as an apprentice. Yep. And 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 earning wealth as they're starting out. And nobody wants to get their hands dirty today. Oh, uh, yeah. Electrician. Quick, I just with DJ Southpaw. Hello. Hey. Thanks so much for coming. Awesome live stream. Uh, always looking for new beers to drink. So are we. I'm brewing one today. And. uh Blacko Beer Reviews just sent out the link. I appreciate that, Blacko. I really awesome. appreciate that. Uh, so we're just going to boil. It. Here's my hops, Andrew. This is what makes beer. Nice. So uh, just throw it in there in a little bit. I don't have to throw this in for a while. Though. So I think uh, Stoneyard Vineyard said he's also brewing today while he's watching us, and he said he's at the boil too. So you've actually gone ahead of me, Stoneyard. You're behind me. Now you're 
I'm talking too much and I'm not paying attention to your head of me. I'm yeah. distracting you. Sorry about that. No, I would have done it anyway. Believe me. <laughs> you help me. Uh, I, can I ask you a question? Do it by one. You know, it's difficult with one. Can I ask you a question about that? Uh, yeah, sure. do, you not, do you not buy yours in bulk? I was just wondering. I was surprised to see it in like such a smaller bag. Yeah, so this is actually only eight ounces. I normally do, but I got this for free for joining a homebrew association. Oh, okay. So they send me eight ounces that I'm going to use for this beer. But I buy it in one pound increments. Um, usually used for a beer anywhere from two ounces to ten ounces of hops in a, in a batch of beer. Okay. This nine ounces. Um, so there's not a lot of hops you're using anyway. But I do buy all my grains, um, all my hops in bulk, and then divide it up. It saves a lot of money. And I have storage containers. If you saw my garage here, it's got nine different storage containers for 10, actually, for grains. And my freezer outside is filled with freeze-dried hops that I buy and then split up. Buy wow. in bulk, split up, and you save money that way. Just like in anything else, if you buy in bulk, you, you get a cheaper, cheaper rate. And uh, is there anything special about these ones? Like, I know you got it as a promotion. Is there anything uh, particular about them? About this beer or these hops? Those hops, yeah. Not nothing. It's called, they're called Amarillo. They're very, really a citrus and floral aroma. It's a really nice smell. They're uh -huh. going to take like an orange or grape, not really grapefruit, but orange, tropical, uh, citrus flavor to it. Uh -huh. uh, not going to get a lot of bitterness out of it. Sometimes people like really bitter beer. You would not like bitter beer, Andrew. No, I'm not a bitter beer guy, no. But you probably would like this. It's going to be real juicy. It's going to be oh. a lot of aromatics in it. So, and, and what if I put these in at the end of the boil? When you put them in the beginning of the boil, it transforms the alpha acids in these hops to make it bitter. Some people love that. Okay. But I'm not doing that with this brew. I'm only doing it at the very end. And that way, it keeps some of the flavors and aromatics, but doesn't give me all the, the bitterness that's in the beer. And when you say the end, so how long will it be in there? Like like before the end of it? Like, Five minutes. That's it. That's it? That's it. And then I'll whirlpool for 15. Just means I'll, I'll, I'll take it off the boil and at 180 degrees. Just let it swirl. Wow. And that does stuff to it. So, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Not hard. It sounds like a great choice for a meetup, like the type you picked. Like it sounds, you know, because it a, appeals to a large variety and it's festive yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. So. We, yeah. We decided to go with something pretty easy. It's not going to be real bitter. It'll be hopefully tasty most people like it so cool. yeah that's, that's the idea we're looking forward to it i, I don't know what the meetup's going to be but i it's it's cool it's in our backyard we can't not go um, yeah exactly um there's some people that we don't even know about i think people are coming from overseas which it's it's amazing that somebody would come all the way from overseas for something like this and it just shows you the power of the community i guess you know it's it's really fun i think so it'll be cool to see that oh you'll have an awesome time there's no doubt about that yeah it'll be cool so um, other than that, you know, just working away. Uh, we have some fun things planned. We're going to be hopefully going to a professional brewery in April to brew a beer with them and, and recording that. So that's 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 really cool. That is uh, awesome. Yeah, that that's when we get into breweries. You know, it's it's funny. We when we started doing this, we only had like a few hundred subscribers. But we said we had a YouTube page. And we sent a lot of emails out to different breweries, and three or four came back and said, sure, come in. And they gave you the red car, but not knowing that we didn't really have a big channel, but they didn't care. Any promotion for them is good promotion. Exactly. Uh, and so they let us come in, and you know, we had carte fun access to like three different breweries. Sweet. Uh, and, it's, and they hook you up, and they didn't care. And that's good marketing on their end because you know, while we only had, at the time, maybe five, six, seven hundred subscribers, they were in their niche, and they you know, saw what their production's like. And, they get something out of it too. So it's a win win for everybody. And I always sell it that way. You do not have to be gigantic to get recognition here, to get noticed, to get free stuff, to get access to places, act professionally, and it gets you a long way. Yes. Definitely. You know, definitely, 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 definitely. Definitely. So I, I don't know if we're going to get the 100 likes today, but um, I want to get you there. I want to get you there. It's, it's, it's Saturday morning. We, this happened last time where it starts out real good and then people start doing their day. You know, it's, it's yeah. They're leaving now, so that's okay. It's all good. You know, I, we, I actually got to leave pretty soon, too. I had no worries. up with somebody else, but I just I was just nice to hang out with you. Yeah, it was. It really was. I appreciate you helping me out. And, and oh. On it's good. I mean, Andy's going to be very upset that he didn't see you. <laughs> I'm upset, too. I think the world you and I also, Andy, is just awesome. I just, I don't know. It's just something about him. He's got that... He's a gem. He's a gem. I'll give. I'll give him that word. He's a gem. He, he is. I've known him all my life. We've known him. One of the other reasons why we, we work so well together. I've known him since kindergarten. 
you know, and we're in our forties now. So that's, do the math, it's been a long time we've known each other. So not many friendships last that long. No, they don't. And so we kind of know each other really well. We know what either each other does really well. And but can uh, I ask you something? You guys compliment each other so well on here. But would you say your whole lives were kind of like that? You guys always kind of like complimented each. You know what I mean? Like you, yes. you, I mean, we've been best friends for a long time. So yeah. you have to. Yeah. Um, he was the best man at my wedding. So you know, um, it's we've known we've kind of we've grown up together. We've lived in the same area together. We li lived when we were bachelors together. So you now when you have that, it, it makes it much easier to you know create stuff like this. Of course. Uh, we don't have the issues of, um, well, you, 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 I want to do this. You can't do this. Um, yeah. we don't have any of those issues. Um, it's probably very similar with you and Ksenia. I mean, you're husband and wife, so you, you know, you know how to work that together as well. So. It's yeah. It's funny. On the, it's funny how it worked out because usually I'm the technical one and this one, she's actually getting to be more the technical. And I'm the one really? that, uh, yeah. I'm the one that's getting out more doing like this. Ah, and it, Ed editing i do more but uh when i do edit for customers now i don't get to do much on youtube but she is like the queen of like analytics tags and stuff like that she has the patience of a saint where i don't i do more of the mingling and stuff like that now type of thing kind of like yeah you were saying for andy and you yeah you know, well, I know maryland outdoors you're still here and dj southpaw uh i appreciate every canadian brewing everybody's checking each other out that's that's what i yeah. like to see um, one second i gotta check I know you have to go soon, Andrew. Yo, you go. <laughs> no worries. No worries. And I think, guys, uh, for their next milestone, uh, Andy's going to have to pull him in that wagon. I see it sitting there, and I just want to see him sitting in that so much. <laughs> <laughs> in that wagon? Oh, that would be good. <laughs> I would yeah, I would love to see that. <laughs> I think that would be a great milestone celebration. Well, you know, for us, our next big milestone, Andrew, is we're going to hit 100,000 views for our channel, which, you know, we don't do a lot of live streams. So for views, it's mainly coming from our edited videos. That's good, man. It's great. Right? Yeah, I'm, so we're, we're at like 98,000 views. So oh, we're going to celebrate that. We got to get those views up. Yeah, <laughs> that's actually really good because you're right. Like you're not live streaming all the no. time and stuff like that. No, we have one video that is the, basically, and this shows you the power of topic and yep. search. It's just me very four years ago when I finished my basement and my bar, I just did a video saying, you know, how to finish your basement with a wet bar. Right. Right. And that has 40,000 views on it. That's it's a crazy. Four minute video, but it still gives us like, you know, I don't know, every 28 days we'll get 3,000 watch time minutes from it just from that video from four years ago. That is so awesome. And 2,000 views every 28 days. So that's kind of neat that you have that. But that, that's why I'm sorry our wedding video is on our other private one. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Damn it. <laughs> no <laughs> tags, no nothing. It's got 32,000 views. Uh, it just, it's not there as dormant as could be. Uh, <laughs> we forgot we had it for almost what, three years. So we went back and looked at it. We're like, I'm like, Xenia, you got to see this. <laughs> do you ever think that you'll start another channel that'll have more of the edited videos in it or something? Do you see yourself doing that? It's just the time. Yeah. You know, trying to do for customers. And I yeah. mean, this is our slow season, so it gives me more freedom. Right. I'd love to. I, my real passion is in editing by far. I love okay. it. Yeah. And we never thought live streams in the mix for us. You were there from the beginning pretty yeah. much. You know, you, it was never in the cards. Oh, you know? <laughs> there we go. That's. I love that you guys do that with your branding, by the way. I always love it that you guys get your Thank name you. everywhere you can. That is so yeah. important. We got to get some merch up, though. That's the thing. Mm-hmm. And, guys, you don't have to wait till you're monetized. Don't make the same mistake we did. You don't yeah, have to wait no. till you're monetized to get merch. No. I, I, you know, Andy has a local vendor that he's friends with that he wants to use, and I, I'm totally okay with that. So we just have to get that up. Uh, See? See, for us, we were screwed because of Canada. The shipping is it, over the top. It, it, wow. we, would, we could never do it. So that's why we were kind of stuck. Teespring has been good. To, you know, it takes all, it does all the work. Right. But I would have liked to, because I used to do shirts when I worked for that music company. That was part of my business. Okay. And I would have liked to have done our own, but it's just, it would have never paid off. So. Now, does Teespring, what is the cut that they take? I don't even know because we haven't looked at it. They well, you have your base price, and then you can just charge whatever you want uh, on top of it. Yeah. Got it. Got so, it. 
Yeah. Okay. And they handle all the shipping, right? Everything. Even if somebody takes a shirt and doesn't like it and returns it, you still keep your cut. Oh. Yeah. That's good. So that part, but it's a bigger cut. If you can do it on your own, and you guys in the states are lucky with flat rate shipping and stuff like that, you know, you guys can really uh, have a bigger share of the pie onto it for gotcha. sure. Got so, it. Got it. Got it. Just for us, like I say, it doesn't fit. Right. I, I mean, it's amazing how challenging. I'm just thinking since the the time we've known each other, how much things have changed. Definitely, oh, certainly. I mean, uh, for for you guys though, I mean, you. I think when we first got on your channel you had a, maybe a thousand or two two thousand subscribers. yeah somewhere around that vicinity or 1500 and we're saving seven thousand yeah and then you know it's funny though it, it seems like it's been such a long time but it's only been it's been less than a year andrew and it feels like 10 years and not in a bad way it feels like we've all been in the trenches together you know, it really does. Like brothers, you know, like in our, you know, yeah. I don't want, I don't want to downplay all respect to veterans. I don't mean that in any bad, no, no. but it does feel like, you know, we've gone through so much and you know, as well as I do, I mean, we've all had some problems, you know, and all the things have gone yes. on and yep. Yep. it's tiring. And, and by Christmas, I was fed up. I was really fed I up. I know you were. I, it took a lot. And then I the know. January started off bad again, but things are getting better. Good. That's what yeah. we like to that's what we like to hear. You know, it took me four. It's funny. We were saying the other day, it's like rock, like when you when you're a starving artist and you have no money to buy anything, nobody wants to help you. And then as soon as you start making some money, then you don't need the help anymore. And it's kind of the same thing on yeah, YouTube right. as well. <laughs> like our uh, watch time, it took us what four and a half months to get four thousand hours, oh. and we, and we worked hard, like yeah, six days a week. Sometimes even then, sometimes eight times a week we were on. We would double. And now, every 28 days, we go around 500,000 minutes. That is, a, are you kidding me? No, it's oh. four, four to 500,000. It's always in between. That is amazing. Unbelievable. Wow. In our first 20 minutes, those pre openers we do, I get more watch time than I used to get in a three hour live stream when we started. And it, that, I love that idea of the pre -over. Is that all through OBS? You have the countdown, so you're really yeah. live, but it's it, you have the screen up that shows the countdown. Correct? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that is a, we've got to get on OBS. Andy wants to get on OBS. How difficult all is it to actually understand and use it? Eighty-five percent is like a walk in the park. It's intuitive. You just need your key. You'll go to your yeah your right. Yep. Once you put in your key, it's figuring it all out for you. Just do a network test. Okay. The last fifteen percent is a lot of just dicking around it's Got just it. that's the hard the, kind of the tiring part of it you know okay. is getting it right setting the right bit rate we have a fast connection we just got it this fall here so we're 300 up 300 down so now i can run at about six thousand eight thousand. Oh. Bit. but before that i could i couldn't run it properly gotcha so that that's been the big difference okay. for the, so hopefully we'll we'll get there i just want to uh jay jay sure. hey you. yeah they come on and also mystery musics what's going on Mystery yeah, I don't know. They're a new channel to us either. Yeah. Check really? them out. Who's the studios on with us? Andrew. I'm, I'm we're, you're boiling, so I need to start a time. One second, Andrew. No, you just do what you gotta do. Yeah. One second. Gotta make mystery. sure I still grew. Oh, mystery music. I see uh you cover a cliff of cliffs of Dover and Salt's. Oh yeah, I'm I'm yeah, you got me. Yeah. <laughs> I cool. just subscribed. Awesome, wonderful. There you go. Yeah, anything like that. Uh, right up our alleys, I would say. It's fair. All right, Andrew, if you could hold, I know you have to leave soon, but if you could hold on one second while I go grab a beer from our last brew day. I want to show everybody that. Take so, your take your time. Perfect. No, I'm in good company here. <laughs> um, Where are you now? There we go. Just got you uh, Mystery Music. There you go. There I am. Pusha Studios. Uh, sorry, that's kind of a short message, but since I'm talking, I can say more. So, But yeah, I love what you're doing. Uh, really cool. And how are you? Uh, yeah, JNC No Limit. Uh, I see what you said. Yeah, it is. It's And it is kind of a weird feeling when you... Because the opener can bring in usually around 40 hours of watch time if things are going good. Sometimes 20. But most of the time, that first 20 minutes generates about 40 hours on average, I would say. I know we, we, don't, and, uh, we don't always give out our... Numbers, no YouTuber does, but I don't know. I don't see the point. It's it is. I'm we're happy with it. It's a lot of work, but and it depends on the night too. Like the wheel, uh, 
the wheel, uh, of course, brings in more. We always know we're never going to get as many people for the interviews. or te But Tech Talk's surprising. Tech Talk is doing really good. I was worried about that one in the fall. But what I like about it is it shows the real um, the real creators because those are the ones that are in there for that part. And they're the ones that are real diehards about growing their channel. So that's what kind of makes it fun. The, the, well, Andrew, the, sorry, yeah. I just wanted to show this. If you guys sure. were last live stream, this is a coconut brown ale. You would like this one, Andrew. Wow. It's a brown ale with coconut, it's organic toasted coconut. It tastes like a beautiful coconut beer. It's it's really turned out nice. You know who would love that? So, Xenia. Uh, she's she's like crazed for anything coconut. Oh, she would love this. It smells like toasted coconut, and it's got a nice toasted coconut flavor in it. It's not right. hoppy at all. It's really sweet and good. It's just delicious. My wife loves this. It's amazing. Uh, yeah, no, Xenia would be like salivating right now. <laughs> i got to figure out a way to get you guys up some beer in Canada, cross country. This can be done. i got to figure that out, though. It's tough. It is. I know. I know. That's the thing about going between, especially for homebrew, because then they want to know everything into it. I'm sure it's a that is gorgeous though. Look, Look at that. Color. So, man, I know Flacco, oh, man. I need that beer. It is really nice. I'll give you the recipe, Flacco. You can brew it yourself, man. Look at it. It's just gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Flacco's old man, bro. I need that beer. <laughs> can you at DJ Southball? Give me your email or email us at 21090 brewing at gmail.com and I will email you the recipe. It's it is not too difficult. The key is toasting the coconut. You need unsweetened organic coconut. And you can't burn it. It you burn. It goes from nothing to toasted and burnt in like two seconds. So oh you gotta get right. The toast on the coconut, right? That's why you're the professional. <laughs> I, would, I would not trust me with that. <laughs> I don't know about that. I see a lot of burnt. <laughs> it, it goes from not toasted to burnt in literally two minutes. So you gotta watch it very quickly. Oh my god! It's no. Like, so it's good. It, and this is the cool thing. You know, for me, who's not, I'm not that. Um, good with you know drawing or creativity in regards to the arts i love creating beers and that's what i'm good at so that's where i get my creativity out is developing recipes and creating beer that's for me that's where i get it in you know get wow. my creative juices going and get that out that way because I'm, I'm not good at art but i love art but i'm not good at it. but you are this is art this that's is true. art that's one true. Uh, that's that true. i'll say till the end of time this is art anything you do with passion and this amount of care into it is an art for sure very good point. I, mean, yeah. I haven't thought of it that way, but you're right. You're 100% right. 100%. And JNC No Limit TV is heading back trucking on Monday, so probably see less of me, unfortunately. Oh, oh, no. Well, I want you to be safe on the road, my friend, one trucker to another. Keep the wheels down. Definitely, yeah. You know, it's not I an easy job. They've been out. They, I guess JNC No Limit, you haven't been fishing lately. They were fishing up in, I think they're in Wisconsin. They're. I want to say they are somewhere where it's really cold. They were fishing when it was still really cold outside. I remember seeing their live streams. And it's freezing cold outside. But I haven't seen them do that lately. Maybe yeah, I, I'm. Is it Wisconsin? I don't know. I'm. I'm, I'm drawing a blank me. right now. I am too. And hey, where are you from? I love that Canadian Brewing Channel. I can't draw, but I can brew. Exactly. Exactly. There you go. That's exactly what I'm saying. I can't either. Same as some singers can't draw, and same as everybody else's art form, sculptors, whatever it may be. So. Yeah, Wisconsin. Yeah. Holding out. Yep. Okay. So, do you ever do any ice fishing, JNC? I wonder about that because I see a bunch of channels with this ice fishing. It's really popular. That the whole ice fishing. I used to do. It. I used to do it a lot when I was younger. Ice fishing. Really? Oh yeah. My fa my father was a guide for salmon fishing for uh, fly fishing for over twenty years. That's amazing. There's a there's a river by my place. It's one of the most famous in North America for large Atlantic salmon, and you can only fly fish onto it. Mm. And I had no I I've, I can do it, but I've have no patience for it. Like my <laughs> father was wanting me to. He didn't want me to do it as a job. He wanted me to do something else. But he was always hoping I have a passion for it. But but sure. I, I was a hunter. I mean, I've hunted moose, deer. Oh, really? Oh, okay. yeah. you know that? There's something I didn't know about you. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Oh, I grew up a rural life. I mean, I was a town okay. of 280 people on one side and 400 on the other of this river. And, yeah, it was really rural. Yeah, I worked on farms all the time. And, uh, yeah, I, I lived a very, yeah, a very, <laughs> very rural life, to say the least. So we still go back. I, I have a house there and that I'm renting it at the time and stuff. Okay. But, yeah. I, I never wanted to move back. Xenia would move back, move there if we wanted to. And but. are you in Montreal or are you right outside Montreal? Just about ten minutes out in the beginning of the suburbs. Yeah. Yep. 
Yeah, we're right we're right along the um about a hundred and well no five hundred feet from the St. Lawrence Seaway, the river that comes oh, through. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, well, just down at the end of the street, and you're going to the park. That wow. there's a park for about twenty kilometers that follows the river. They really did a nice job of rejuvenating it. Yeah. Yeah. South Texas prepper said, "I can't brew, but I can drink." <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. There you go. That's right. Every every artist needs to have an audience. So that's right. And, and JNC No Limits said, "No ice fishing. I don't like it." And Casey is from LA, so it gets really. Yeah, I understand that. Mm. How difficult is it to ice fish? I mean, you've got to find the spot, drill the hole. I mean, is it? I always see these videos where people are just plucking fish out of this hole, but I can imagine it, it's still. Confusing. We do. We were doing a lot with shocks. You have oh, shocks. Yeah. You bring it with snowmobile, then drill down with an auger, pull the shock over it, or, or drill inside of it sometimes, just to break the wind because it's in a bay that goes out into the, eventually in the ocean. So That's, yeah, James. Who's the studio should do a fishing video? <laughs> wow, you want to watch me curse and get fed up after five <laughs> minutes? It'll be the shortest video going. I have no patience. I have the worst person for patience going. <laughs> Maybe we don't want that then. <laughs> no, my middle son, though, he's really getting into it with my dad. My dad tie, used to tie fly hooks as well, you know, okay. make them. So I think he might next summer, if we go down, maybe start teaching my middle son how to tie in that. So. Ah, all right. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, I figured you'd like that JNC, me blowing a gasket. And <laughs> yeah. Oh, and there would be. <laughs> Pretty much guaranteed a broken rod. <laughs> my cousin that I'm renting the house from, he was 80. He passed away like my a second cousin, I guess you call him. He uh, left me everything, and I got like 30, 30 new rods and reels from him and everything, all fly rods and stuff. And They're just sitting down there right now until I figure out what I'm going to do with them. Because uh -huh. I'm my father's got about 580 of them. So. Wow! <laughs> it's funny with a guide like those guys pay. My father's he like they all work they they don't do it independently. He was a cheap, he was the cheaper version. Instead of staying at a cottage, it was sixteen hundred dollars a day U.S. and all you got was two pools, one in the morning and one in the afternoon, with no guarantees of catching a salmon. But if you stay at one of the cottages and they're very hard to get into, some of them have a ten year waiting list. Wow. It's, Four thousand U.S. a day. Oh, moly. it's weird because this tiny little town in the middle of nowhere. But I've played hockey with Bobby Orr. Like he used to come down and really? in the afternoon in the slow part, because you don't fish in the afternoon; it's too hot. Oh. He'd come down in this jeep that they had laying around there with some plastic hockey sticks, and come down to the local corner store, and he'd pull them out and play with us for like forty-five minutes or an hour. So you played hockey too? Oh yeah. I, another thing I didn't know about you. I had to because I lived in Quebec by law. <laughs> <laughs> so are you a big Canadians fan or no? No, I boo for them all the time. <laughs> you what? I boo for them all the time. Why don't you like the Canadians? I've always been Toronto and Boston. I don't oh, know. Okay. All right. Sick, tired of listening to the French all the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That music company I worked for, we had season tickets, six rows from the ice. I used to get the tickets now and then. And the boss's best friend had like seats maybe 15 away. Every time I went, he'd call my boss angry the next morning. That idiot from the gas bay was there last night with his <laughs> freaking loud mouth in Toronto jersey causing crap Is, again. is this at the old forum? No, no. I, I only ever got to see one game there. That was a long time is ago. Is the old forum still there? Because I thought you drove by it one time. Did yeah, I did. It's still there, but it's turned into the Pepsi forum, and they got shops into it. But after a lot of backlash, they kept the center ice and then a few of the seats, like maybe 50 of them around. Oh. So yeah. you can sit there. They brought, they kept the season, just moved them That's in. Like the cathedral of hockey. Oh, right? yeah. It is. Whether you like the Canadians or not, I mean, it's the mecca for hockey. Right. You know? right. Yeah. The but last Syntex Al just came in, said he found us through Pusa. Syntex Al, thank you. I hey, you. great to see you. Yeah, that's that's great to, to get some people over here from food. So that's we meet so many great people from you, Andrew. We can that's why I say we always thank you. Well, I thank you guys too. We're all in it together. And I want to thank you guys. You guys have been with us since the very beginning. You've been so supportive of us, and it means more than you'll ever know. Likewise. And Flacco, Flacco wanted to know how fun a hockey game is live, Andrew. He said he had uh, it it is it is, uh, but I mean it is boring. You know when you watch it at home, you get better angles, you get to see more of the action. When you're sitting down, I mean a lot of, a lot of the action's happening in the other side of the because they switch each period. Yeah. You know if you're down on the lower side and it's a team that's bombing. Like one time I brought my uh, my ex's uh, father-in-law 
to a Blue Jackets game. Oh my God, it was god awful. Not yeah. and on the Canadian side because they were just the Canadians were nailing them. So that everything for 15 minutes was just on the other side of the rink. Wow. You know. So. Yeah, that's how it is. We, I go to American football games here, and and so our seats are in one end zone. So yeah, when it's the plays at the other end, it you can get better views at home. There's no yeah. doubt about it. There are people watching on their phones, watching at home, just uh, watching on their phones, watching the game, just so they can catch it in between. You know. Yeah. 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 Actually, you asked about the forum. The very last concert I ever seen there was Metallica. Whoa. The, the the black album and i don't know if you remember the the riots in montreal yes, when they first yes, played here well i was at the, i was at those riots that was at the olympic stadium and that, the one in, uh sorry it was gnr and metallica on the yeah. same boat, correct that's right yep I, I, I saw them in dc that that whole yes i saw them in rfk stadium and oh that was crazy that, that riot that they, yeah they, they burnt the city to the ground here unbelievable unbelievable and Lars and them came out and said, if you stop riding, we promise we'll come back and have a makeup concert. <laughs> Didn't help much, but they kept their word. They came back they and that did. last concert was $16.50 for any seat in the forum. What do you think about Guns N' Roses? Uh, destined for failure right from the get-go. Uh, unbelievable talent. Um, the most jaded lifestyles write the best music and also have the shortest careers. Yeah. But they they seems like their last tour though they've been very successful with this rebrand of. I don't know how they're pulling it together. I give them credit. There's some managers that must be like want to, should be put in a home now after the misery they went through, <laughs> but they did it. They did it. I give them yeah. credit. The and, uh, drummer Steven Adler, you know, I know he he's not a part of this whole recreation of them. He's going to be at that M3 Rock Festival. <laughs> well, I, I always thought it bad they didn't get him back in. I, I thought so, bad. too. Because he went through a lot, too. I mean, he had a stroke, I think. Exactly, he did. And you know. I think cleaned himself up, but they don't want him back, I guess. I, I think that's, that it's, sucks. It does, you know, because there's no excuse for it, you know. And, and Matt Sorum, I always thought he was kind of – anyways, I'm not a I big think Matt Sorum is – he's not um, going with them. It's, it's a hired gun drummer. It's yeah, yeah. And yeah, no, and he, like what I meant is even when they had him, I never liked him much. There was something to be said for that um, that that club style drumming of 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 Adam. Oh, sorry guys, I get oh, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, no, it, I I just wish they had brought him back. I think yeah, a lot Sit more. Down, said, what are we brewing? I'm brewing a single hop, uh, I uh, hazy IPA with Amarillo hops. That's what I'm brewing. There's the hops, Amarillo, and uh, the Green Wizard said hi to 1090. Hello, Pusa. Wait, hey, Green Wizard. How are you, Green Wizard? Good to see you. Good to, nice see, to you. see you. Certainly, certainly. Uh, mm -hmm. JNC Limit has to go. It's been fun. Great day. Hey, thanks so much for joining us, JNC. Keep warm up there in Wisconsin, and we'll see you soon. Thank you so much. I, I feel bad too. I got to take off, man. I got a jet. So No worries, Andrew. I appreciate you coming on. You helped me a little bit. And as yeah. always, it's great to talk to you. Andy's going to be very upset. So please give him my best. <laughs> please give him my best. I, would I will give Ksenia my best as well. We'll see you live tomorrow night. Sounds good. You take care, my friend. All right. Bye, Andrew. Cheers for now. Cheers. Right. Bye, everybody. Take care. All right. Well, that was a special, special guest. I'm going to try to plug in back in my. Blue Yeti. Uh, let's see. Unless somebody else wants to come on live, that's up to you. But uh, I'm going to plug this in. Go back to it. One second. All right. Can everybody hear me okay? I'm back on this. Andrew, again, thank you so much uh, for coming on. The super chat earlier, you were wonderful. Anybody new that's come in, if you could give me a thumbs up. I was trying to get the 100 likes. I don't think I'm going to get there today. But if you've come in, Green Wizard, um, uh, Syntax, Al, if you could you know, hit, hit the thumbs up button, that'd be great. I'm going to get back a little bit more to the brewing um, now that it's just me, I guess, because I, I don't have Andrew. But I want to keep – hopefully you guys can keep the chat going. I know we're, we're kind of wrapping up here. We're in the boil. Um, I have hops here. Look, there you go. There's some hot pellets. Two ounces right there of Amarillo. Another two ounces of Amarillo. I don't put that in until the very end of the boil. We'll be done at 1 p.m. on the boil. So I've got time with you guys. We can certainly talk. 
Oh, good. Okay, so I'm back on the Yeti mic. I don't know why when I brought on somebody on Hangouts, I couldn't use this mic. I had to go through the speaker on the webcam. Hit the thumbs up. Thank you, Syntax. Al. I appreciate you that, doing that. We're trying to get that thumbs up. I don't think we're going to get the 100 this time, but we will eventually one day. No worries. Um, just wanted to, again, Flacco's been here since the beginning. He's cleaned his house. God knows what he's doing next. Um, if you haven't checked out everybody in here, Flacco's Beer Review, please check him out. He gave us a super chat earlier on. It's much appreciated. Please check out Flacco Beer Review. Canadian Brewing Channel's been here all day. There's some others that have been here a lot. Really, uh, do you grow your own hops? Syntax, I do not grow my own hops. I could. There's only certain um, hops that grow in this climate in Central Maryland. I think Centennial, maybe Simcoe. Not all types of hops would grow in this climate because we get really hot in the summertime. Um, something we're thinking about. Hops, though, grow like 15 feet in the air. You need a big trellis to let them grow vertically. And I don't have that in my backyard. My wife would probably kill me. Um, but it's something we're thinking about. Andy has property that we could possibly do it on. I think it'd be really cool to grow your own hops and then brew a beer with it. So we're looking into that. It would be wet hops, whole leaf hops. These are pellet hops. These are concentrated hops. So um, it's a different type of brewing, so to speak. All right, so John, uh, Junk, Junk Pick, how are you? First of all, thanks for coming on. Uh, give us a like, thumbs up if you can. We're trying to get the 100 likes. I don't know if we're going to get there. And secondly, it's not difficult to learn how to brew. Flacco Beer Review can tell you. He just started brewing. He's a great beer reviewer, loves beer, and he started brewing now. It's, it seems daunting, but there's kits out there now that'll take you through the process. And we're actually gonna make some videos that bring you along and show you how to do it with a kit. It's like making a box cake. You follow the recipe, two weeks you got beer. And as you get more comfortable with that, you go to your own original recipe creation and doing all grain like I'm doing. And you just it, it just snowballs. So don't feel like, oh gosh, I don't think I can do it. Anybody can brew beer, no doubt about it. So Syntax out. We're going to have a video for you very soon that will show you how to, how to start, where to buy. your. You want to buy a kit, and we'll give you everything you need to get. You won't need all this stuff. You won't need a mash tun. You'll just need a pot. It's basically all you need, a pot and a, a fermenter, so to speak, a carboy that you can put in and ferment it. Fermented. But we will have a video up probably in the next month or so showing you how to start brewing. What's what you need to be a beginning brewer. It's not hard, I can tell you. It seems overwhelming, but it's not. And Flacco can probably, he can probably attest to that. He just started brewing. Hey, Brian, what's going on, man? You have one coming out soon, too, on how to probably electric brew. Uh, he's the Brian from Short Circuit Brewers. Everybody's in the chat. If you want to see a really good brewer, right there. That channel right there is probably the best brewing channel you'll see. Uh, there's some other ones out there, Dr. Hans, but certainly Short Circuit. Uh, we're brewing a single hop Amarillo Hazy IPA today, uh, Brian. But uh, go to his channel. He's got a lot of information on how to brew good beer. Yeah, that's what we're thinking. We're going to do that too. We're going to go from, you know, the whole way to, to do it from a, from a kit. You know, that's how everybody starts is from a kit for the most part. And we'll, we'll show you that. Just a small induction plate. So there you go. So see, and uh, Brian from Short Circuit Brewing does all electric brewing, and you don't even need the propane gas turner, uh, burner. You just need an induction plate. He'll show you exactly how to do that. That's probably even easier. So check out his channel. He's got it. We're going to put up a video too, because we want to do like a whole how-to series for beginning brewers. You know, how to uh, keg your beer, how to uh, use a beer gun to bottle your beer, how to uh, develop a yeast starter, um, how to do a bunch of and, and moving up to intermediate and, and we're not by any means advanced brewers but we've been doing it for a few years so trying to do some videos around that is is our next series so to speak so we'll have that and it, and it looks like brian's already got some of that coming out so he may beat us to the punch but that's okay because he does great stuff so check out short circuit brewers syntax out if you want to see how to brew he'll show you you can't go wrong by following brian he has got a lot more experience than we do uh, Brian, how is the build-out going? I don't know if I've seen an update lately. I'm sorry if I missed it. The last I saw, I think you had everything drywalled. Um, what's the status of the brewery? We'd love to know. So, to, um, Syntax out. where do I get my hops from? Um, I get them. I buy most of my hops in bulk from a place called morebeer.com. It's an online. I mean, they might have it. Uh, they may have a 
brick and mortar shop, but they're out of Pennsylvania. They seem to have the best, I think, prices in bulk. So I buy them, and you can buy them in non bulk too. But I go to More Beard. There's plenty of places. There's uh, Austin Homebrew. There's homebrewsupply.com. There's Northern Brewer. There's a ton of places. Just go online. You'll see when we do our video, we'll show you where you get your kits from and where you can get some of your supplies from. And then there's local homebrew shops that you can go to. Every state, I'm sure, has it. We have two near us in Baltimore, actually three. So there's homebrew shops that you can go in your local area or there's online. A super simple Google search will show you the, kind of the big ones. It's been a month. Okay, how is uh, working on it now Hit it for more supplies? Uh, how close are we to being complete with the brew house, uh, Brian? That's all I want to know. Is it going to be another three months, four months, two months? When will it be complete? Oh, all right. Well, Brian's out of here. All right, Brian. Well, thanks for checking in. Appreciate you stopping by. There you go. Syntax out you, a month. All right, perfect. So in a month, Brian will be fully functional. Check him out. He does amazing, amazing stuff. So please do that. There you go, junk pick. There you go. Adding him now. He. He's a great, great home brewing, brewing channel. He will, if you follow him, you won't go wrong. Great guy too. He's been on a bunch of our live streams before. Really good supporter in the community. So, um, all right. So we're just boiling. Again, for you guys, what we did, all that stuff that was, all that water and grains that we took all the sugars out of to make that, that wort. Here's a sample of it. Can you see? There's, I'm going to test the pH and uh, gravity reading on this. But once it cools down, that's what it looks like. We're boiling that for 60 minutes. So that's the next step. You, you get the sugars out of it by just putting hot water on it. Then you boil it for an hour, and you add your hops during that. Because this is a hazy IPA and juicy, it's all going to be at the back end of the boil, so to speak. So you boil it for 60 minutes. A lot of times if you're doing a regular IPA, you throw some in at 60, 30, 15, whatever. I'm not throwing any in yet. These are all going to be late edition hops. Five minutes left in the boil, I'm going to throw in two ounces. Whirlpool, another two ounces, and another five ounces are going in in the secondary twice, or in the fer in fermentation. The first time will be three days in the first fer fermentation and then 10 days after fermentation. So a lot of dry hops in that. Let's see the boil. All right, you know what? I think I may be able to get you guys over there. Hold on. See if I can reach. I don't know if I can. Sorry about that. No, you're not going to be able to see it. Uh, you can't see it. I can't reach any further. Can you see that? Sorry. Oh, hold on. I can probably bring this. Oh. I don't knock anything over. Here we go. It's awful steamy. Can you see it, Flacco? This is riveting. There you go. All right. We've got a nice vigorous boil. And if, I want to show you guys what I – I'll show you real quick. These are my uh, containers I have that have all my grains. As you can see, there, that's the, the thing I use for my two-row. That's the bigger one. And here's all. I've got Red X. I've got Crystal 40, Crystal uh, 60, Crystal 120. got some Victory. got some Munich. Down there, I've got some Carafa 3 and, uh, and uh, chocolate malts. So that's sort of how I get my grains in bulk. I don't know if you can see that at all. And then store them in these – bins, these airtight bins. All right. That's how I save some money. Let me put this back on here. All right. That's it. Um, I don't think the camera is portable. No, it, it's kind of portable. It's not really. I just kind of have a wire that I stretched. <laughs> it's going. The boil is definitely going. Um, I love brewing. So this is my... If you saw our last live stream, I did a coconut brown ale. Fantastic beer here, man. It's not a hoppy beer at all. It's a malty, sweet coconut. It's just, it's my wife's favorite beer I make. And it may be my best beer I make, actually. It's so good. Andy tried it the other day, and he said, this is the best beer you've brewed. Maybe. Yeah. So Flacco, as you get all, get into brewing, I, I highly recommend. Oh man, I'm, you can see the lights there. Hey, look at that. Sorry about that. There you go. That's better. Um, I would recommend buying your your grains in in bulk, and and that way you save some money. I cracked homebrew also. Is that you did the stout right, Flacco? That's the stout you brewed. You got like ten gallons of that. That's a lot of beer, by the way. That's a lot of beer. I'm actually gonna get two more. 
uh, taps. So I'll have three taps um, to have homebrew on. Right now I only have one. It stinks. Because I've got keg, three kegs of beer downstairs, but I only have one tower. But I'm going to get two more towers and have three kegs. Yeah. Pumping out the homebrew. Love homebrewing. Wow, you really have a garage. <laughs> I do. It, my wife is very nice enough to allow me to have the space in here, not to park her car and to put all my brewing equipment into. So, brew dudes, what's going on, man? Hello. You've kind of we've been on for a while. We're boiling. We're making a hazy single hop uh, single hop Amarillo IPA. Um, all Amarillo hops, nine ounces of it in total. Very hazy. Um, I'm making it for a creator, a YouTube creator meetup in Baltimore, our hometown, in the beginning of March. Did you do you sell? No, I don't sell my beer. I sell it. That's quite illegal, I guess. You need an alcohol a license to do that. I have no plans to sell my beer. It, it, to open your own brewery, it, well, I shouldn't say I have no. To open your own brewery, it takes a lot of capital. And actually, Flacco has talked about this. He has a great idea to open up a brew pub and have his own business, and he's starting to get into brewing, and then eventually transition into a sort of small batch brewery, and that's probably a great way to do it. But to open your own brewery, you need a ton of money and a ton of investors and a ton of capital to buy all the equipment and space and get the licensing to actually sell your own beer. I, have, I don't have time for that. This is a really good hobby of mine. I love, I've love. put my beer up for competitions. It's one. I think I brew good beer, but, you know, I'm just – I'm happy with just doing this, so – yeah, it's, it's tasty. I'm drinking now. I'm almost done. This was my coconut brown ale. This turned out fantastic. This is our last live stream. This is a brown ale infused with toasted coconut in the mash and then in the secondary or actually post-primary fermentation. How much can you brew without having a license? It's a good question, Maryland Outdoors. I don't think I need a license if I don't sell it. There is, I think, an amount you're not supposed to go over. I probably brew once a month, five gallons. So what's that, 70 gallons of beer a year? I don't know. Hopefully I'm not breaking the law. I don't think I am. But I'm not selling it. I don't sell my beer. I just drink it. All right, we got 30 minutes left in the boil. At five minutes left, I'm adding these two ounces of Amarillo hops. And if you could smell this. Oh, I love Amarillo hops. I got these free for re-upping my uh, AHA homebrew. Um, uh, AHA, American Homebrewers Association membership. Can't go wrong with that. I'm brewing a beer with it now. Uh, stick with the hobby hassle. Yeah, exactly. I'm never, I'm not, I have no intentions right now. I, I don't have any intentions of being a professional brewer. Anybody, anybody new, can you give me a thumbs up? I was trying to get the 100 likes. I don't think I'm going to get there, but if you could just hit that like button, brew dudes, anybody new that's come in, please just give me a like. I'm trying to get the 100 likes, but it's not going to probably happen. I have about another hour left in this stream, and then we'll be done, but I'd love to get close to the 100. Maybe we'll see. I think our record's like 80, so if we could get to 80, that'd be great. We're at 61, so yeah, we kind of stopped. That's all right. We had a great group earlier. We got a bunch of um, super chats, which really help us. We, we're trying to put money back into the channel, so we appreciate everybody who gave us super chats. Uh, Flacco Beer Reviews came through with some super chats, and Pusa Studios was earlier on earlier. They gave us some super chats. It helps us tremendously. We don't get any money really from our AdSense, and we don't have any merch yet, so that was really nice for everybody to do. So we appreciate that. And you know, Marin Outdoors gave us a, a, a nice super chat. Man Outdoors, I want to know. Please come back and let us know how your meal at Hella's restaurant is tonight. Mike knows you're coming. So when you get there, just say, hey, can I, is, is Mike Stavlos in? His name is Stavlos. Or just ask for Mike. He's the owner. He'll be there. He's really psyched to hear that somebody that watches our, our channel was actually coming in. To, we have this collaboration. He's, he's an old friend of ours. That's how we know him. We went to grade school with him. He owns a restaurant that has great craft beers near where we live. And we do our seller series from his restaurant and bar. And he lets us come in. He, it's all his stuff. Um, he's very kind to give us content and make it promotes his, it promotes his restaurant too. So it's a win-win for both of us. So that's cool. How do you brew everything organic? I don't, I'd love to, but there's not a lot of organic hops or barley that's out there. Um, so 
I try to use organic like adjuncts, like if I'm doing um, honey or um, the coconut I'm using, I'll use organic that way. But it's really difficult to find organic hops or organic. Um, and there goes our <laughs> man. Hold on one second. Oh, it's down. Oh well, you know who we are. It's down. It's down. Down goes Tyson. I don't know how much longer this is going to stay up, but it's up for a while. It's cold. Anyway, there goes the sign. I don't know if it's a sign that I should stop the stream or not, but Patricia Sprinkles, what's going on? Hello, how are you? Thank you for coming on. You missed Pusa Studios. They were just, Andrew was on with us live. Please check out Patricia. She's a you guys are just great supporters. I appreciate you coming on. How are you? Hope you're having a great Saturday. Cash brand band K. I was just going to say cool sign and it fell down. It might fall down again. How are you? Very nice to see you. Thanks for coming in and supporting us. TTS, what's going on? How are you? I'm doing great. We're in the boil. We're making a hazy, a single hop Amarillo IPA. It's for a meetup I'm doing with a bunch of creators in Baltimore. March 2nd. So having a great brew day. Had some great, I had, had Andrew from Pusa Studios on earlier, who helped me for about an hour come on and talk with everybody. Um, so it was great seeing him. Hope you're doing well, DTS. Um, we had some great super chats from everybody helping us out. We really appreciate, we, we so much love the super chats. And we don't make really any money from the AdSense, even though we're monetized. So super chats are, goes right back into our channel. It's always appreciated. Um, Hopefully everybody's having a great Saturday. I appreciate you coming on. We have about another, maybe, I don't know, 45 minutes left in the stream and, and brew day. Um, so I'm glad people are coming on. The banner is dope. Hey, hey I got that. Thank you. I, I, reached, I think it's pretty cool too. We really got it because we have a mirror behind my bar that when we, we do our videos at my bar, I've got to cover it covered up because the lighting behind us, you'd see it. So that's really why we got it. But my wife was like, why don't you put your sign up when you're doing your live stream brewing? God, I love my wife. She's She's the smart one in the family. I said, that's a good idea. So I put it up. Of course, it's been up for three and a half hours and it's cold. So it's starting to fall down a little bit. But thanks for the, the shout out there, Flacco. Junk pit, no problem. That's, I appreciate you doing that. That's that's uh, great. Make sure you hit that like on the way out if you haven't already. Thanks for stopping by and watching. Hopefully you learned a little bit. Again, if you're looking to brew, we're going to do a how-to series very soon. that will help you get started. So. Thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate that. Can't believe as I entered to say about this. <laughs> I know. I think you did that. Crash, I think you made it crash. That's what I think. Exactly. Hey, Flacco, you know it. You, you got, she is a great wife. She, she is a very, uh, an amazing mother, amazing wife. She supports me in brewing. She supports us in this YouTube channel. You know, she's letting me take a Saturday morning, you know, afternoon to do this while she watches our three kids. So got to have a good woman behind you for everything. So that's, or partner, doesn't really matter. Just have a good partner. What are you brewing? I am brewing a single, I probably, Flacco is probably tired of hearing this. Flacco, what am I brewing? <laughs> I'm brewing a single hop, Amarillo hop, hazy IPA. So we're in the boil right now. We have about another 24 minutes left in the boil, and we'll be done. I'm going to add in these hops at five minutes left in the boil, and then I'm going to add in another two ounces in the whirlpool, and then another five ounces in the fermentation. Two ounces during the first three days, after the first three days of fermentation starting, and then another three ounces dry hopping it once fermentation's done. And then it'll be good. Hey, Stacy is back. Awesome, Stacy. Thank you so much. I'm glad to see you. We're we're getting close. We're we're sort of at the boil. Uh, almost done with the beer process. We have about another half hour, 45 minutes, and we'll be done. You've been on and on. I appreciate. It. I don't know if you saw Andrew from Pusa Studios. He was on. We had him live, so I think you did. So I appreciate you. Give me a thumbs up if you can. I'm trying to get the hundred. I'm not going to get there, but as many as we can get. I think our record is like 80. John, you're still here. That's great. It takes about, I can brew, I have a yeast starter. Actually, I'll show you the yeast. Hold on one second. It reminds me, I gotta take it out. Here's the yeast. 
So I did a yeast starter. All this is is this is wort. Look at the bottom. You see that bottom? That's all yeast. That brown, the, this right here, that's yeast. It's falling to the bottom. And I'll decant this beer, and I'll be left with a bunch of yeast that's ready to go. Um, okay, sorry about that. Um, so it takes about, I can, because it's a yeast starter, I can, bet you I can get this done fermenting in seven to 10 days. Usually it takes about two weeks. I can probably do this in seven to 10 days because this yeast is ready to go. I did a yeast starter and it will just crush this, the sugars that are in this beer. Um, that being said, I need to check a couple of things. Don't go anywhere. I want to have to go to the bathroom. Sorry. I've been on for three and a half hours or something, three hours. I have to go to the bathroom. I'm going to come back. I'm going to check the gravity of my beer to see how much sugar is in there. And then we'll get going. But please don't go anywhere. Hit thumbs up. Talk so much yourself. Please support everybody. Uh, Stone Yard Vineyard, you're still here. How's your brew? Aren't you brewing? You're brewing, right? Putting a half an ounce. Yeah, home. Nice. Nice, 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 Stone Yard. You're beating me, I think. I'll be right back. Give me two minutes. Okay, sorry, I'm back. Hopefully I didn't lose too many people. Find out what happens after after these days. <laughs> exactly, wacko. All right, I go ahead. I'm sorry. Uh, coffee and now beer. It's going to run right through me. Um, what did I miss? That's a good health. Yeah, it's, you know what I, I used? I used that new canned wort. It's so much easier than using like dry malt extract, oil. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's great, man. That canned wort for your starters is really good. Really good. Um, I made a starter from Timothy Taylor. Oh, very cool. That's awesome. Putting half ounce of homegrown cascade hops in the mouth. That's awesome, Stoneyard. I wish we could grow our hops. We may one day. I, you know, I've never, I don't actually ever brew though with whole leaf hops, so I, I don't know how that would affect everything. I think you're, you're fine, aren't you? Don't sell it. Yeah, I think you're fine if you don't sell it. I think you're okay. Uh, Blackberry wine, natural made. Crash, Brent, you make natural wine. You make your wine. That's another thing. I, I don't know how to make wine, but I, I'd love to learn how to do that. I like wine too. Um, I'll never get to 100 gallons. Anyway, yeah, I won't get to 100 gallons either. Well, I guess I could. I'd do 70 probably about now. So 65 likes. All right, can we get to 80 maybe? I've got another 45 minutes. If you have not hit the like button, please do. Bitter Beerman, what's going on? What is going on? Appreciate you coming back. Bitter Beerman, when are you brewing again? Are you brewing again? Can't, yeah, it's canned wort. Um, hold on, I'll show you. Hold on, Flat, Flacco, give me a second. All right, so Flacco, this is what I'm talking about. It's a proper starter. All right, so all this is is condensed wort for yeast starter. There it is. So you, you, you pour one of these into your flasks with an 
uh, another 16 ounces of distilled water. Throw in your hops, and you're good to go. That's all you need. Anyway, and this makes a great yeast starter. I actually use two of these. I make, I make bigger starters. I make two, uh, two liters, 2,000 milliliters, whatever it is. It's 2,000 2, or two liters. So I do two of these. I think they cost like, I don't know, you get like six of four of them for like eight dollars so it's a little bit more expensive than than dme but it's so easy bottling today maybe next weekend brewing cool what are you gonna brew next uh beater bearman again if you haven't checked out everybody's channels please do some great beer channels some non-beer channels um Canadian brewing channel never seen that but yeah uh, morebeer.com has this. It is the easiest thing for yeast starters. You don't have to worry about measuring out your DME and then boiling it and sanitizing everything. Just spray some sanitizer, open it up, pour it into your sanitized flask. Put another, I just do a bottle of, of water from that's purified. That's, you know, you don't have to worry about it being contaminated. And there you go. It's as simple as can be. It, it's really easy. So that's probably what I'm going to do from now on. Uh, all right, where are we? We've got 17 minutes left in the boil. At 1, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we will have the boil be able to be done. I should probably check on it. We're good. Get a nice smell. so good, guys. Woo! You know what I want to do? I want to check the pH and eight uh, pre-boil gravity. So give me one second. Okay, so what we're gonna do is check the pH. I'm looking for 5253. Let's hope we're there. I got this awesome thing that'll do it for me right here. Check the pH. I've cooled down. There you go, 53538. Five, three, five, yeah. five, three, eight. So I'm happy with that. That's That's good. Now for the pre-boil gravity. I don't know what my pre-boil gravity is actually supposed to be, but we'll check it out right now. Give me one second. I have this nice little refractometer that'll do it for me. What this is going to do is tell me how much sugar is in this wort. Sugar is what creates alcohol. Yeast converts that. So we will just take a little dab of it. I took this collection when we were mashing out. All right, let's shut that up. Can't see. All right, so we are at, whoa, holy moly, 106.0, maybe too high. That's not a bad thing, though. 106.0, I don't know what my pre-boil gravity is supposed to be, but it seems high to me. We'll see. That's okay. All good. 106.0 is the pre-boil gravity, 5.3 pH. Uh, that's kind of what I was shooting for, 5.38. All right, that's awesome. Anything I'm missing? Took a nice nap, right? Hey, and I'm still on. I'm glad you took a nap. You came back. I appreciate that. Getting dark here in the UK, so drinking a porter I made five months ago. Nice. TTA, that's, I love, that's all I've been drinking. That's why I brewed a, a sort of IPA, hazy, juicy, because I, I brewed two stouts. I brewed a brown ale. I've just been brewing. I brewed a black IPA twice. So I've been brewing really heavy dark stouts from September on, and now I just like I need an IPA. So that's why I'm doing a nice juicy New England IPA. Yeah, hey Rod J, that's my man Rod. Hey, give me a thumbs up, Rod. I was trying to get the hundred likes today. I don't think it's gonna happen. We have some great super chats, so that's helped us. But I, I don't think I'm gonna get the hundred likes. But give me a thumbs up if you can. I really appreciate it. Don't know if I missed anything while I was gone. Stacy, you didn't miss anything. Thank you. You're the best. Please check everybody's channels out. I really hope you can, can support the people that are in this stream. They're great creators. We, we love them. Please check them out. They will support you back for sure. You make all make good content. What's up, Diggs Junk? How are you, man? We're making beer today. Hope you're having a great Saturday. Thanks so much for joining us. Stouts are what's been... Yeah, I mean, you, you got to brew stouts in the cold winter. There's no doubt about it. What's up? What? Are you using your 
Yeah, but it needs to be charged. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, juicy. I mean, that's the craze. Juicy. Everybody making juicy IPAs. I'm, I don't know what the next big craze is. There is. Um, there, a dogfish head. Andy, uh, it, uh, who's usually my, he's, he's usually he is on his channel. He can't make it today. He had a low calorie, ninety calorie beer. This is what I think might be the next big thing. Low calorie, really good craft beer. 90 calories. He said it was an amazing IPA. It's coming out in the next couple months. From he got a special like taste of it free. He said it was awesome. 90 cal, 90 cal. Are you kidding me? 90 calories. That's like the beer we make here. It's probably gonna have 250 calories in a 12 ounce glass. And um, the reason why it, it's a lot of sugars that are in there. So 90 calories is nothing. And that's if you can make a really good tasting beer, 90 calories. We actually try to do that. We try to make a beer under 125 calories that tasted good. None of us really did. So making something that tastes really good with 90 calories, I think that might be the next big thing. We'll see. All right, so my pre-boil gravity is good. My pH is good. I'm happy with that. That's going to make good beer, hopefully. The next thing we need to do is add hops in about seven more minutes. At 1 or 12.55, we're adding two ounces of Amarillo hops. Finally adding hops to this dang thing. That's what you do with juicy, hazy IPAs. You just kinda, the IBUs on this are only going to be like 30. So putting them in all at the oh, – it smells so good. I wish you had smell of vision Amarillo hops, citrusy, orange. God, it smells so good. I wish I could make a, make a car or air freshener that smells like this. Oh, so good. Maybe I should. Question for you. Uh, question for you from me. All right. What What's the question, Stacy? Question above for you. Oh, wait. Above. What did I miss? I'm sorry, Stacy. My fiance said he's going to buy some new IPAs, lager and stouts now. Do you have any new ones you're brewing or coming out soon? So I mean, we have some. This is a new IPA. I don't have any loggers. Loggers take a long time to. I only make one logger a year. That's in July for my Oktoberfest party. Um, it's a Mars and um, stouts. I have a chocolate stout, a little bit left that I love. Um, where, Stacy? Where do you live again? I'm curious. If he's buying, you know, just go to your local like craft brew store or, or liquor store that has a lot of craft beers and ask somebody what are some of the good ones that they have on that are local. Jacob Downey, big thumbs up. Thanks so much. How you doing? Please hit that thumbs up. We're trying to make it close to 100. Rajay, you still here? Hopefully you can hit hit the like for us. Um, hopefully you guys can, can can see everybody. I made a peachy Amarillo late last August. My own recipe on last two bottles. Loads of fresh. Oh, that's probably really good. DTA, that sounds awesome. Cheers. Hey, Rajay, I appreciate you always. You're a great supporter. If nobody's... Please check out Rajay. Awesome live streams. He's on a stream the other day. He's got great panel guests. He does great beer reviews. He's just a good guy. I said earlier, I love people who are, I like supporting creators that are just good people. Rajay's good people. There's no doubt about it. Flacco's good people. Stacy's good people. Everybody in here, we're all good people. That's why I think we're all kind of linked together. Diggs Junk is another one. Is it legal to, to mail out orders? I don't know. I'm pleading ignorance on that. I don't think it probably is. I don't know. I don't know. I send some. I'm not selling it. I don't know. I hope it's legal. I don't know. Yeah, thank you. I was trying to get the 100, but it kind of tailed off there for a little bit. It is what it is. I'm not going to get 100 today probably, but maybe one of these days we'll get 100. Going to hit you with an email later and get it to Todd. I'll handle Kentucky. Todd, yeah. Rajay, if you want it for the state series, we, we want you to be a part of that because we'll we'll highlight your channel. We'll get a little clip from you. If you want to do Kentucky, just email us, 21090brewing at gmail.com. We'll send you beers back from Maryland plus some of our home brews that you can enjoy. Um, and then we'll when we do our state series for Kentucky or wherever you want to do it, we will we'll, we'll certainly give you the plug. So appreciate that. I'm in Central Florida. Well, so – 
Central Florida, um, yeah, I mean, there's tons of great breweries down around there. Um, they probably get a lot of breweries brewer, uh, beers from up here. I was wondering if your newer, one, any of your newer ones. Um, <laughs> so if you want to taste our beers, I, I you can email me if I can get you some. I'll, I'll try. Um, but yeah, Stacy, if you want to try some of our beers, I mean, I've got this. This will be ready in ten, two weeks. Just email me. I can try to get you down some beers. All right, Rod. Appreciate it, buddy. Just email us. Let's let's hook that up, and we'll we'll get that beer trade ready, and we'll we'll get you on our channel. That'd be awesome. What a D DTS it it will be for summer. I missed something. Sorry, buddy. Flacco did a just did a review on a ch strawberry chocolate stout. Uh, Flacco, who was that that did that? Because that sounds amazing. We had a cherry chocolate stout from a brewery in Delaware called Third Wave that was one of the best stouts I've ever had. It was phenomenal. I'm interested by this chair, uh, this strawberry chocolate stout. I missed something though. Chocolate coffee porter, that's my favorite. Diggs Junk said chocolate coffee porter. That sounds delicious. Uh, yeah, you can't go wrong with those two combinations. There's a beer in Ontario that's a grapefruit APA, American Pale Ale, I guess. And it's 142 calories. So that, yeah, so that's that's pretty low for a craft beer. So that's pretty good too. Can't even bring that. What was the, do you know who makes that? I probably can't get it here. Chocolate stout sounds great. Yeah. All right. Well, I have a little bit left. So I'm going to bottle some of it this weekend. So, uh, Stacy, just email me again at 21090brewing at gmail.com. We'll try to get some down to you. All I ask is maybe you give us a plug on your channel when you review it or you drink it. That's all. Um, what else did I miss? I'm sorry. I'm. It's hard doing this by myself. Yeah, I'll take you. Hey, I don't know if we ever get down to Mississippi golf, but Diggs, one of the things we're doing, we're doing a thing called State Series, and we're highlighting craft beer from all 50 states. We don't have anybody from Mississippi. So if you want, email us. Maybe we can do a beer trade. We'll send you some of our homebrew, and then you send us some great beers that you love in Mississippi. And we will highlight you on our channel. And uh, it's a really cool thing that we're just launching. So email us. We'd love to do a beer trade with you. Sounds good, Stacy. Perfect. Texas Beer Company. Flacco, what beers did you send us again? I, we, we did that review a while ago. We've already got it banged. We just have to get it out. I can't even remember. I have it down somewhere. Did you send us stuff from Texas Beer Company? Oh, DTS, you're too kind. I appreciate it. Just trying to have fun. It, it's it's great to get on here. I, we support a lot of channels. We usually are on live channels and talking on the side that you guys are on. So I love being able to interact like this while I'm brewing. You know, it takes four hours of my day. I might as well talk to some people. Hopefully you guys can see a little bit of what we do. Um, so that's cool. 69 likes. All right, let's, can we get to 80 maybe by the end of this? Actually, I got to add in some hops. Here we go. All right, so um, it's five minutes left in the boil. I'm going to add in two ounces of Amarillo. Finally, it's going to smell amazing when we get here. Oh, yeah. Blackout, Acadian beer. All you guys. Woo! That's it. Oh, it smells so good. So good. It smells so good. Nothing better than that. Now, the only problem is I, I can't use my wart chiller because, you know, it's usually freezing here. I've got my side spigots turned off because it freezes here in Maryland. So this is going to chill sort of naturally. It's going to take a while. So I don't, I'm not using my – it's going to chill on the ground. I'm going to put a lid on it later on, and they will probably not pitch the yeast till tonight. All right, what I miss? So we got five minutes left in the boil. i got to take it off in another four minutes, put another two ounces in the Whirlpool. And I'm done with the brew day, guys, besides pitching the yeast later on tonight, which you won't see. Amarillo, Jacob down, and you got it. Amarillo, oh, I love it. This is all Amarillo hops. You know what that's going to smell like and taste like. Nine ounces of Amarillo hops between the last five minutes of boil, the whirlpool, and then twice in the, in the fermentation process. Should turn out to be a really good beer. DTS said I'm in my last six bottles of the Chutes Freshly Squeezed IPA Clone. Oh, that my friend Brad Allison put me. Yeah, so Brad Allison is another good home brewer and beer reviewer. If you haven't checked his channel out, do so. He's a good friend of ours. 
Love chatting with you live. So much better. I'll do it. Taste test and squirt. All right, cool. So Stacy, just email us at 21090brewing at gmail.com. Give me your information. Once we get these bottled, I'll get you down a couple beers. Let us know what you think. <laughs> you know, I love that you're going to rewatch the entire entire thing. We had we had Andrew from Fusa Studios on. A lot of great creators. So maybe you missed some. Go back and try. Uh-oh, we're losing it again. Dang it. Gotta think of a better way. That's the that's the sign we usually have in our bar that goes over a, a mirror that I have over my bar. I brought it up here and my wife said, put it up there so you can see it behind you. It makes sense. But it keeps falling down now. So we got another probably 30 minutes in the in the chat. I don't know how many likes, but maybe we can get to 80. If you're new coming on, please hit that like. Okay, yeah, you know what? We don't have anybody from Ohio either, but it doesn't mean we won't. Rod, to just whatever you want, you want, you think you can get some, you know, three or four beers. That's all we need um, from whatever state you want to actually, if you want to do two states, we'll give you two shout outs. That's no problem. They probably won't be in succession. It'll probably be, so do one now and then we'll see about Ohio. Um, we, we have Washington coming out next week, uh, the following like two or three weeks after that'll be Oregon. Then it'll be Texas with Flacco. Then it'll be um Indiana with Midwest Beer Reviews, and we got a, a viewer down in Florida that sent us some beer. So that's what we have so far. Um, we've done Nebraska, Washington, Oregon, Texas, Illinois, and Florida. Any other state is still open. On the border of all three. Okay. Hey, well, if you want to be in it three times, we probably won't do them in succession, but let's take care of one first. Let's do whatever one you want to do first. Let us know, and we'll send you beers back as well. So there, Please know that we're not just taking, but we're sending beer back. So certainly it's a beer trade. <laughs> Canadian Brewing Channel. I, I'm doing a lot here today. I don't have Andy. Um, hopefully Andy will get on a live stream one of these days. Um, but he's been very, very busy. He does all of our editing, so don't feel like Andy. Andy is very much a part of this. He has been working away all week and had family obligations today. He does all of our editing. So if you like our editing, Credit goes to Andy. He does every. He also has a lot of the ideas behind a lot of our videos. He's the creative one. I'm more of the analytical outreach and brewer. He likes to brew too. He, he makes great beer as well. So Andy will be back. Don't worry. He will be brewing again. If you need California, I'll send you a couple. We do need California and beer to beerman. You're the guy we want. Let's do it. Um, it doesn't have to be right now, but send us an email and let us know when you want to hook up, and we'll do it because we got some in the pipeline. We're not going to probably get to California then till probably the, the fall. So you got plenty of time. We still have to get to Flacco. Flacco, he sent us beers probably months ago. We reviewed it, but we just, it's been, been delayed in getting it out. So we'll get to it. It's Texas. Yeah, te I was disappointed though, Flacco. Your beer got kind of like broken on the way down. I was not happy about that. I might have to send you some beer again. Uh, try this picture hanging. Yeah, I know. This, but the thing is, this goes over. I have it so it goes over a bar. It's what we use when we do our videos at our bar, you'll see. So I don't want this permanently up there. It's good. It's going to fall again. It's all good. I'm only going to be on for another 20 minutes, guys. All right. We are at Flame Out. Get it off here. So now is when the fun starts. Oh, it smells good. It's sanitized, by the way. Woo! So now I'm going to let this get down in temperature a little bit. I'm going to get down to 180. Once it gets down to 180, I'm going to throw in the next two hops, and then we're done, guys. I will pour it for that 180 to 160 for about 10 minutes. I'm not using a wart chiller, so that won't be hard. All right, what did I miss? Anything I miss? Sorry, guys, if I... That's true, Stacey. They don't damage the paint. They do. Maybe that's what I'll get for this, because it's easy to take on and off. You're right. I'm so happy after seven years nearly... Like the, we're locked. I didn't know what that meant there, Crash Brand. Sorry, I missed what you were saying before. 
Don't it might fall again. <laughs> it might yeah, don't say anything, it might fall again. That's cool, Flat. I'm glad. Yeah, we did send you some good beers. We like, yeah, we sent you what we like here in Baltimore, so Maryland, so you get an idea of what we drink. That was the whole idea behind it. Thanks, Rod. I appreciate it. We're gonna be ending here soon. I appreciate you coming on. Always a support. Go check out Rod J's Beer Adventures. He's a great channel, great guy. You won't be disappointed. <clears throat> My granddad used to brew wine. You know, that's there's a lot of people that do the, the wine brewing. We, we, I think Andy's are big time into wine. I'd love to try to make wine one time. So it's something we might do just to see how it turns out. Uh, I know it's a different process, but it's sort of doing the same thing. You're converting sugars to alcohol. Um, raise a glass to Rajay. That's right, Jacob. Good point to that. I drank my beer, uh, you know, almost out. But uh, – Get this down to the temperature. I'll throw in the Whirlpool hops, and then we're done, guys. It's been about, let's see, I went on at 9.30, 10.30, 11.00. been three and a half hour stream. Anything else you guys want to see, let us know. Um, we're going to come out with a video this week, which is a Guilty Pleasures video. What's a Guilty Pleasures video? Andy found a really cool article. Wait till you see this, this video that has sommeliers or whatever, the, the wine people give their Guilty Pleasure drinks. And two of them included beer. There was like several sommeliers say, this is my guilty pleasure drink. This is what I drink when I'm drinking, not drinking like high class wine. And two of them were beer related. We, we then created them. And then I had my own guilty pleasure drink that we also created. Let's just say the guilty pleasures drink from those sommeliers were not the best. Wait till you see this video. And then I, and I do my guilty pleasure drink and Andy has his, which is kind of funny too. That video will come out this week. It's pretty funny. It's just something we did that we thought was funny. It kind of backfired on us because the, the drinks that the sommeliers we thought would be good weren't. So that'll come out next week. Thrash Metal, I'm glad you came in. I'm at the end. I just got off the boil. I'm going to whirlpool in a second. Um, I appreciate you jumping on. Give me a thumbs up, Thrash Metal. I'm trying to, I was trying to get the 100. That's not going to happen. But any thumbs up would be great. Uh, we had some great super chats from earlier on. That so much helps us. Thank you so much for those guys. Flacco gave us a super chat. Um, Maryland Outdoors gave us super chats. I appreciate y'all. Um, this beer is a single hop Amarillo Hazy IPA. I just drank my coconut brown ale for my last. You can't see it anymore. Mass Brew Day turned out fantastic. You'll see how this is for a creator meetup we're doing in Baltimore in December, or March, March 2nd. Thanks, Stacy. Thanks so much. Email me again if you if you can. That'd be great. Um, that's good. So, yeah, Napa's yeah, Napa's a great place. Yeah, perfect. Let us know how it goes hell tonight. If you can't go wrong with that steak, that New York strip that was over the hash with the chocolate and and coffee rub. Oh, so good. So good. So was the snapper. That snapper was amazing as well. But I think I'm going to, you know, we have 16 people on. Any more thumbs up? 70, all right, 70 likes. I'll take 70 likes. That's a, that's a good way to end the stream. I want to thank Flanco's Beer Review, Maryland Outdoors, Stacy. here we go again. You guys, Acadian Brewing Channel, uh, all you guys who have been with me, from the, hopefully I'm not missing people who have been with me for a few hours now. Um, hope you enjoyed it. I miss people. Who else did I miss? Jacob Downey's been on for a while. Um, DTS has been on for a while from overseas. Um, hopefully, you guys have all checked each other out. We had Pusa, Andrew from Pusa Studios on. The Bearded Beerman, he was on for a while, came back on. Um, Crash, thanks so much. I really appreciate you guys coming out. Um, it's great to talk with you. Um, have a great weekend. I'm going to clean up this mess. <laughs> Um, get this beer situated, get it down to temperature, and I'll see you next time. Cheers, everybody. Thank you again so much. Thanks for all the super chats. It really helps us. You don't mean to us. Thanks for the likes. I'm so glad we got up to – oh, we had three downvotes, it looks like. Well, that's the way it goes. Uh, thanks for the 70 likes I guess we're close to. It really means a lot. I will give – yeah, definitely give my regards. That yeah, I will tell Andy. Everybody said hi. He will be on our next live stream. I promise. Much love to you guys all. Thank you, Stacy. See you guys next time. Cheers. <laughs>